Actions in one. Kind of. All right, I'm gonna go live. Go here. And then we'll get started. What did I get myself into? <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, so first we're gonna do, obviously, as the video says, we're gonna do some uh, builds or guides of builds. So we're gonna build some armies and then talk about them in a test map. So um, you're gonna bring data. Oh, you're bringing nine point. Who should I bring then? Just I bring a Russia or a Spain or a UK or. Mm, so I can I can sort of talk about both Austria and Russia maybe. Yeah go yeah go ahead and start maybe that. UK. Okay, I'll bring UK while you're doing that. Yeah. Did you want to go over the the points thing first? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So points, and you guys can clarify if I say it the wrong way. Um. So when you first get into a lobby, they're probably gonna either you can can ask or they're gonna say hello and they're gonna say so many amount of points. Usually it's thirty six for a four v four. I feel like, but that means that's the total amount of points in this top corner. Yeah, exactly. Like that all set. Um, and you have all these points. You have a 9, 7, 10. You see that? So that's total how many points you can bring. And the points just dictate, I think, how strong or effective the faction's combat efficiency is. So uh, you have to total your points up to 36. I, th I think I've seen like a 48-point game, or it was 42. No, it was 42, Probably I think. Yeah. And cores can be a different ballpark, too, because you can have cores... And someone else can have this theaters of war. So you just gotta expect that someone may yell at you if you do the wrong thing. So I don't know if that really covered it. Suddenly stick. All right, all right. So Dad L is gonna go over Russia Austria here, which is a pretty fun faction, I think. Um. Yeah. I guess we can talk about some some gen I, general rules. I guess uh, Austrians are usually Usually, there are, of course, exceptions. Um, better, better at shooting than the Russians. Also, usually have worse melee. Um, Morale-wise, the Russian average morale is higher than the, the Austrian one, although I'm not sure it is on this faction. Um, yeah, this faction is actually it's a pretty good combination of both Russia and Austria. You have a limited amount of... Uh, cores to choose from so it's actually one you can make consistent builds with because you only have three cores to roll i think mm -hmm. so uh you always can choose the same units um with this one data would you recommend taking a higher star general or a lower star or in the middle I mean, the, the amount of stars you bring really depends on what kind of units you bring and what what you want to do so what when i decide what general to bring i think of two things um what is the morale of my units so if, if it's really bad, uh, I need at least some stars. If it's pretty decent, I can get away without bringing too many stars or even without stars. And then there's, it's the questions. Um, the question is, how aggressive do you want to play? Mm. So if you're just uh, taking a slow approach, um, then in my opinion, you can get away with a lower star general. But if you really want to go in there and be aggressive, then you need a high star because you're going to be in some tricky situations for which you need a lot of morale to keep going. Right, and, and isn't it, I think it's still the same in 9.0 that like each star equals, is it one plus morale for your troops that are nearby? Yes, each star is plus one and also each general staff has the inspire trait, which is plus two. Oh, that's so right. Add the stars, uh, add two to the stars and then you have the morale you get from the general. Nice. All right, so you recommend for, say, an uh, all-around, just like you aren't going to be too aggressive or too defensive, what would be a, a decent build, you'd say, to bring? Is it a mix of Austrians and Russians, or one stronger than the oh, yeah, other? yeah, definitely. I mean, both have strengths uh, and weaknesses, and you want to kind of want to get both. So I would bring... And I'm just going to build it brigade. along with... Yeah, a brigade of, of Austrians. You have some pretty cheap Austrians that don't have terrible morale yet. Like, you have the... Number 29, Lindenau, 105 men, 231 gold. Um, oh, wow. And you have the, the Salzburg to the, to the left of it. Now you're mixing L2 and L3. That is okay, in my opinion. Not ideal, but okay. But yeah, get some, in my opinion, get some of the cheaper cheaper Austrians to shoot. Uh, the morale is pretty decent. 
so you can um, take maybe maybe Romanov, the three-star gen. Um, get a couple of these Austrians, give them a square to support them. Maybe if you're if you're new, take more than one square. Um, but as you as you get more experienced and know how to anticipate cav attacks, um, you can you can do with uh, fewer squares. But yeah, I would bring at least one one brigade of Austrians just to to hold a line and shoot, and then you can think about whether you want a want some want another brigade, maybe some chunky Russians that can combine shooting and melee. What's what's a good uh, recommended uh, melee attack for a Russian? Like what what do you ideally want? Because there's thirteen, fourteen, and twelve. I'd say. Well, the well, part. the higher the better, obviously, but um, for cost effectiveness, for, for, for line infantry, for especially for the chunky Russian line infantry, um, I'm pretty satisfied if they have like fourteen melee. That's pretty solid, I think. Um, like the Yaroslav, like 136 men. Yeah, you have like the Vyatka, the Narva. The Novgorod's like 380 gold that area, that range. Smolensk too, I think. 159 yeah. men, and that's yeah, actually you, you have a lot of you lo a lot of options. They're pretty chunky. They are all 120, 130 men. Then you have 14 melee on them. Some have decent shooting. Most of them had have decent morale, like seven morale. Oh wait, um, what is Chimel saying? Don't forget one plus melee for line infantry. Is that with the general? No. Infantry. Line infantry gets a gets a bonus in game, so you have fourteen now, but in game they're gonna have fifteen. Oh, oh, what I totally forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can add then to the to the Austrian brigade a brigade of Russians that can melee maybe. I mean that's how I like to play. Um, one one brigade to fix the enemy in place, and then one to be more aggressive with. Mm -hmm. Throw a couple of Russians in there. Give give them a square as well if you want to. Um, which is more tricky with the Russians because their squares are really pricey. Yeah, I mean, there's some Austrian squares, but they're small units, like 96 men. Yeah, they're also... I mean, again, now it depends on what you want to do with uh, speed because the first the Austrian Brigade, it doesn't need speed, in my opinion. But if you want to go in hard with the Russians, then they should be L3, L4. Mm -hmm. would be even better. Um, say the Say the... You take the the Korsk, um, 441 gold. That's L4, 14 melee. Not too great shooting, but that's kind of all right because then you pay uh, pay less for a stud. You're not going to use that much. Wait, what is, what is this? Uh, Korsk, 441 gold, 14 melee, stamina, 6 morale. There's also the Vladimir for 353 for the same melee. I mean, it's crappier morale, but oh yeah, 14 attack. Morale. Yeah, I was I was just looking at this particular one for the speed. But if you if you want to go L3, then there's quite a few interesting oh, well, units yeah, in there. Now, what about like light infantry skirms and like grenadiers? Do you bring those usually? Um, yes, yes, depending on. Like what? What I like to do, say you have that Austrian brigade, um, and it's on average pretty bad at melee. I mean, the Austrians we have now they aren't that badly, uh, that bad. But you can add a grenadier, for example, to to stiffen them up. You know, to have a, like a local local reserve, like a mm -hmm. brigade reserve, or you can concentrate all your reserves into like an army reserve, in which case oh, you see. don't add an add a grenade to your to your line brigade. But rather build one or two line brigades, and then a, like a reserve brigade. How much? That much how much would be your reserve brigade if you're bringing it instead of a grenadier unit, like three? Um, yeah, three units. I mean, it's not usually a brigade. Reasonable. I think three. <laughs> I, it depends. There can be. I I make brigades that are sometimes seven units big. Okay. Um, depends on the unit size as well. Um, if I have really chunky units, really big units like 150 men, then I don't need as many of them. Okay. Now, um, kind of shifting from the infantry, cavalry is also a uh, very crucial part, I'm assuming, even with this core, especially if you don't have squares. Although, yes. What, yes. What, what's the kind I of mean, cav? <laughs> I mean, the basic is you need, in my opinion, you always need at least one light cav for scouting. Right. And you don't throw away your scouting cav early on. 
I mean, ideally, you don't throw it away at all, but at some point you might have two, four guns or something like that. But really, those those light cav and lancers don't count as light cav. That's true. Uh, light cav are the eyes and ears of your army. So if you lose them, you can get really nasty surprises because you don't have the scouting range to see what the enemy is doing. And I think with the 9.0, they made lancers not like a scouting cav. They don't see as far right yeah it's just Lancers hussars don't see as far as yeah. hussars they still see further i think than dragoons um but um not as far as as dedicated light cav yeah. which is hussars chasseurs are cheval chivaligers depending on which sometimes chivaligers are um dragoons right but it, it does have it does say light cavalry so and, and probably you want a cheaper light cav is just for scouting you don't need to invest like you know for the super expensive like 1300 gold if it's if it's just for scouting sure i mean you can do more with cav but for newer players i would recommend uh, to play cav conservatively um because experienced players will take ad advantage of any mistakes you make and if you lose your cav early on you're half dead already um but yeah if if you want to spend money on good light cav then you can bully the enemy Cavalry. You can basically take ground and deny the enemy vision and information on the battle. Oh, Implex joined. Nice. Um, yeah. All right. So, so, so cav, light infantry. You need, mix. you need, you need, you need light cav. Mm -hmm. um, you, I mean, light cav is something you need. Everything else is good to have, but not depending on the build necessary. But I would always recommend bringing a light cav and. Two dragoons, maybe dragoons can counter charge when your infantry gets charged. Um, they can they can fend off enemy light cav if they get too close uh, and want to scout you out. Um, they can support your attacks. You can force squares with dragoons. You can charge lines with dragoons. They're just a solid all round cavalry. cavalry. You said two dragoons though. Usually one light, two dragoons is recommended. Yeah, I mean depending on the faction and the build, I can also bring five dragoons or just one dragoon. It's but two is a good number, I guess. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, I like two dragoons. Lagus <laughs> La Lagus earlier said what what he would re recommend is spending something like three k on cavalry. That's just a rule of thumb. It's not a depending on map and situation you, you can bring more or less. But it's a I guess that's a good number. And if you do that on, on on this build, for example, you can get two dragoons and one light cav for a little over two and a half k. If you want to, you can also add in a lancer. Um, that would also, yeah, help round off the the cab force, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so now, what about heavies? Because I I um, I brought the cavalry guard before. It was it was a massively expensive unit, and you said only bring three k, but I brought them. Um, yeah, they're a very good unit, and heavy cav can be devastating, especially C four. I like I like speed on any unit really, so I prefer the C3 and C4 heavies uh, over the C1 and C2 heavies. Um, the Cavalier Guard is an excellent unit. It's pretty pricey, but you can, if you use it right, you can break an army with it pretty much. Yeah. Um, but ca so but heavy cabs can... should be used against infantry al almost always, specifically. Uh, yes. I mean, you can, of course, use heavy cab. If, if somebody, somebody's stupid enough to charge your, to, to go into a cab fight against your Cavalier Guard, then yeah, be my guest. Yeah, pretty much everything they throw against it, except maybe French cuirassiers, is just gonna die. Um, but yeah, if you if you can get a good charge off with the cavalry guard against enemy infantry, and the inf infantry doesn't square up or can't square up, mm. um, it's pretty much guaranteed to to break. <clears throat> Keep I mean... in mind with cav with heavy cav, you need time to build up the charge, so don't run them up. And give the charge order just before you before you're there, but give the charge order early enough so they can build up momentum for the charge. Oh, that's true. I, I've been Especially guilty of doing that. Cap, that's important. Yeah. Um. Now with I I think I've seen even with squares I know I've seen heavy calves still destroy a square. Like charge directly. I I got a square totally obliterated. I formed square in time and it still broke it. I mean my morale was I'm pretty sure pretty bad at that point, but. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. I think it was I mean, a Russian if you're not fully heavy. formed up, <laughs> and the momentum is great enough, then you can 
sort of break the square, as in throw around the the models of the infantry unit. Yeah. Um, and if their morale is already shaky, you can also break it. But in general, it's it's not a good idea to charge. Squares. Oh yeah, no, no, never. Now artillery is the last thing I'd say in an army to bring, which is a very crucial point as well. I think. Um. Yeah. So with artillery, you should always keep in mind um where you where you deploy on the map so i would recommend that every player checks the checks the uh, lord's website to find out what map you're on and where you deploy because especially slow artillery can be completely useless if you deploy in the back and the battle is already over by the time your artillery units arrive but in general i like to have smaller guns um just just for the speed but then again i i like speed Yep. Um, so horse artillery or just fast guns? Horse artillery. If if you can get a good and cheap unit, I mean, here you have the uh, the Austrian three pounders, three pounder horse for just five hundred fifty two gold. That's pretty good. But most of the time, you will find horse artillery to be quite a bit more expensive. Yeah. Um, um, now, so you, that unit is actually pretty solid. You could bring it. You said three k for cav. How much would you recommend to spend on artillery? As um, a rule of thumb. I almost never spent more than a thousand. Okay. Um, but again, depends on situation. Sometimes, uh, especially especially in co coordinated games, you can bring more if your allies can compensate for it, or if you know you have a position you need to hold, um, and your allies are going to move up, then maybe you can bring more guns, and your allies can bring more cav and infantry to compensate. But you already have the the guns in position to fend off the enemy. Um, I would I would caution against bringing two b batteries that are too large, um, because each gun is basically a hole in your line in your line of infantry, um, and it can be exploited. It can be exploited with cavalry and infantry attacks. Right. Um, so, like if you have a six gun battery, it's a lot of firepower, but it's also a big hole in your line. So think very well on whether you want to bring it or not and and um something we probably will do another time for those watching i'll probably do something about artillery placement about where yeah. to place guns to yeah I mean, <laughs> for okay just just one thing on artillery uh placement just zoom down to the ground when you set up your guns before you hit the unlimber uh button zoom in Look, look at where where the models of your guns are, not where your where your um, your cursor is showing or your or the the sign on the map is showing. But zoom down, see where the models are, and have a look whether any of the terrain um, obstructs your field of fire. Mm -hmm. If it does, move the guns. And if trees and them. stakes can even impede. I've seen people. I've, I think I've actually done it. Some I put stakes oh, yeah, right next to my guns. Obstructed. I put up stakes thinking I was all smart, and then my cannon balls were like hitting the stakes. It was unfortunate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, um, did I, w is there anything else we've missed with this build? I mean, we haven't finished really finished the build, but I think after what we talked about, you can pierce something together. Yeah. Um, it's a great faction, guys. It's, it's it is a, a different fun faction. element of the army. Yeah. That you that you have that you put together to make them work, and you really when you're new, you just have to experiment what works works for you and what doesn't. I prefer Prussia or, or Russia nine that has the Prussians in them, but that's just a personal preference. Mm -hmm. But um, well, cool, cool. Well, <laughs> obviously, uh, yeah, I think you definitely have that faction down a lot better than you. A lot of people I've met, including myself. I've rarely played it, but after a certain while, you can you can figure out the what you need with every faction. That's true. All right. Um, who who should go next then? Chain, were you gonna do a coalition build? Is Chain even here? Chain. I probably talked for so long that he fell asleep or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Jane, um, Jane, you if, muted yourself. Just yeah, Chain, you're muted. Um, 
Yeah. Basically, guys, just really fast while Chain's coming back, I'm assuming. Uh, Russia 9 without the Austria is basically... I think I feel like they should have a part of a Prussian flag with them because it you got Prussian units mixed in instead of Austrian units. It's basically the same thing, though. You bring the Prussians for shooting on the flanks, at least how I've used it. You bring these with ridiculously good accuracy and reloading skill, and then you bring some chunky Russian units. And... Uh, a light cav to scout, two dragoons, and maybe a heavy. Then you're set. But if chain's yeah. not free at the moment, we could have someone else go if they have a build to share. I mean, with nine point Russia, you have a lot more <laughs> options on the Russian side. You can bring a lot more dragoons if you if you want to. And I liked uh, ten point Russia actually. They have like that guard dragoon unit. Like you can bring two of them, oh, yeah. and it was really good. Like really good. Where was it? This one. 63 men, 17 attack, 18 defense, morale of 10, shock resist. Yeah, 700 gold. Yeah, that's solid, solid enough. Yeah. Maybe I... you could talk uh, for a moment about the cores in Theater of War armies so they re roll and you don't have always the same cores to your, like, uh, for you to choose from. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, you want to try taking that? It sounds like you know how to explain a little better than I do. I mean, a bit like you have some, some of the factions have quite big armies in general, and they are split into cores and, or into, yeah, how you, I mean, you can, you could say cores at, at least um, for my faction, I have like 10 point France, Austria from 1809, and there are several cores within this army or in this faction and uh, at the moment i have Massena, davu napoleon and van damme but you also have like a few other i don't like even like playing them lefebvre i think and someone else so so, so it's it's each general has a core next to him so like you have a general and then yeah. you have a bunch of infantry yeah. and then a gen so yeah, you if you guys see my screen have the same generals and after a time they re-roll and then you have like different different cores there. So you could have Mira, so, and then another time yeah. you'd have Salt. For example, if Mira is in this faction as a core leader or something, then you could have him. Or um, at least for an hour later, or I don't know when they re-roll, if it's a certain time or if it's Every just three hours. Every three hours, okay, they re-roll, and then you have an, yeah, other generals, other armies there. Yeah. Also, guys, in the chat, um, if you have any questions, just type them in and I'll ask them once we get to like a break point between builds. So, those who are watching. Anyway. That's right. So, so for, for every three hours, it will re-roll. Is there any of these that stay the same or is every single core switched? I mean, I, I think it's luck-based because I had Napoleon before. And they rewrote, and I had Napoleon after that, but everyone else changed. So I don't know if it's just Napoleon in this specific case. Yeah, because I have, I have Wellington here with this UK. Let me go to a 10-point yeah, Austria. I think, I, I think there, are, there aren't enough cores in this army to re-roll. So if armies just have like three or four cores, they obviously not re-roll, because they are just for, for them to pick from. Right. And I think France, Austria has like seven or eight, so they reroll quite differently. Right. That makes yeah, yeah. That's that's a good way to put it. Um, do these ones these there's these customs in the bottom? Do they have that same characteristic? No, they don't reroll. Okay. So for those of you who miss eight point nine, if you don't want things to change ever, you have your your points down here. Which honestly, I don't know. I enjoy that the years of war. The switching it up and having to try out new factions. I feel like it's more fun. And I think I think Dada can prove me wrong, but I also think that the um, combat generals also reroll between the roles. Even if you get the same general, you have different combat generals after that. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Yes, combat gens also oh, uh, okay. rolled. So everything gets rolled every three hours. The cores and the, the combat generals, yes. Cool. For armies that have enough to choose from, yeah. All right, well, um, <clears throat> who who wants to uh, 
What's another good... Let's see. Should we stay on the Coalition side for now, or should we hop over to the Imperial side for our next build? For a beginner player, I should say. What's a good build that one of you has for a more beginner player or someone who's still learning? I, feel I like mean, it's... I'm a beginner, so my build would be probably as beginner-friendly as it gets. Okay. <laughs> That's true. All right. So, uh, 1809, 10 pointer. 1809, uh, France, Austria. Yeah. Austria. All right. So, what have you found that so works? I have to look if you have the same course as me. I have to look at the stream for a second. So, I so... have, uh, ooh, I have Mira. No, I have Lons. Oh, yeah. Okay, Van Dam. Different one, so that's <laughs> oh, no. That's, uh, quite different. To... <laughs> that's it. hard to do now. Damn it. Oh, but, well. I mean, I'm from for the most part. I follow my simple, or at least the rule I've read somewhere, like six thousand gold for infantry, three thousand three thousand gold for cavalry, and one thousand gold for general and artillery. That's basically it. But I'm a bit, yeah. I I spent more on artillery and the general because I got Masana and then a thousand gold six pounder, and a bit less on cavalry. But yeah, you get pretty decent balanced armies with this like rule of thumb so so um you will what's your general like do you bring a lot of fast moving infantry do you bring a lot of grenadiers um cav wise I, brought, I mean i brought like l3 my whole army is l3 for the same like movement speed mm -hmm. then i have some uh, Württemberg units that can square and in between them i have some uh, it's not it's just for my like um, do a brigade with them. So I have one Württemberg unit, then some French that are decently shooting, the Royal Auvergne from, I think it's Massena. Yeah, it's Massena for 309 gold. And from Van Damme, I have the uh, Herzog Wilhelm. Oh, I have Van Damme. Infantry. I actually have yeah. Van Damme, yeah. Uh, so you, is it the lights oh, yeah. or line infantry? Uh, line infantry, the second one from his line infantry. There's the uh, Herzog What's it called? Herzog. Well, oh yeah, yeah, I see him. And that's some good I stats. Have, yeah, and they can square. And then I have like uh, five, five units of Royal Auvergne from uh, Massena, and then one Herzog Wilhelm just to make like a, yeah, a, a space between the next brigade, and they are on the flanks if you, if you start the match. So. You have your uh, squaring units on the flanks. Okay. Yeah, so then I have some basic, like, decent shooting, good morale, French units for backup and reinforcements. One grenadier, the, oh god, I mispronounced it obviously, Grognac, Le Grognac, I don't know. <laughs> A grenadier from Napoleon. You don't better than me, yeah. trust me. The old card? Uh, uh, no, it's like the first Grenadiers are Pete Le Grognac. Le Grognac? Grognac? I don't know. <laughs> Grognac? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, then some lights for scouting. The von Freistadt Dragoons uh, from Baden. And then the uh, Muscadons from Napoleon, also a Dragoon. Then my cannons and one sapper. I don't often bring sappers but if i have really expensive like guns then it's nice to protect them with like stakes mm -hmm. yeah that's basically it beginner nice. build it has like enough infantry to do something some grenadiers with inspire <clears throat> good cavalry i mean the the coalition does need something to bring up to kill like the uh, von freistadt and the Muscadons. Yeah. So, yeah. so question then, why, why this build? Why did you choose this build out of all the French armies? Like, what, what drew I you as a beginner to this one? I mean, I simply like bringing high <laughs> star. I mean, if you're a beginner, it's hard to manage low morale, low star armies. If you have a general with like one or two stars and you have an army with like an average morale of four, then it's you probably get chain routed by some experienced player who just 
like gets in cavalry charges you with like some cuirassiers and then melees you and everything breaks and you are gone because i rolled as this one i rolled uh oh i'm not i don't know how to pronounce his last name but it's the bavarian army which i would cost people uh, against because the morale is so yeah, shaky that that would be lefebvre yes yes i'm not even gonna try to repeat that <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, re I don't really like playing Lefebvre just because I don't Lefebvre. like Bavarians. Yes, I like Bavarians, <laughs> but, but... <laughs> Le what, what, hold on, hold on, say it one more time. Lefebvre. Oh God. It's like you don't pronounce the B. Lefebvre. Lefebvre. Oh, yeah, it's like hard to pronounce. Hard to pronounce. <laughs> this is, I'm taking some French lessons right now. And I'm German, and it's even hard for me. So. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah but... I don't. I don't. I simply don't like the Bavarians. Some. I don't like their uniforms and stuff. So. Okay. Oh, so it's not the it's stats. It's the uniforms. Preference. You don't. <laughs> yeah, it's just personal preference. But no, for, I would say don't okay, take their line infantry guys sense. if you're new. I mean, morale of three. Uh, I'd. Say. Yeah, I mean, but if I, I if I can jump in for like... a second, yeah. sorry. Uh, don't look at the lower grade Bavarians. The first, second, may, and the third. Bavarian line infantry. The first two are basically grenadiers. They also have the G. Um, oh, that's right. That. Um, they have 20 Fires. and above a melee attack. The third also has, I think, 19 melee attack. Yep. The next two have 14 melee attack. So the, the better quality Bavarians are pretty solid. That's true. The first five are good. The first five are good, but don't bring these um, unless you're wanting meat shields that will run pretty fast i've actually brought um what is it the 129 men unit i brought that before to soak up some bullets but yeah it's yeah, actually sorry, Go on. yeah <laughs> no i i don't remember what i wanted to say i mean yeah i i think that i find the some of the bavarians quite overpriced it is six to seven hundred gold for yeah, no. that's a lot for line. Actually, no. I mean, they are decent, but they are not like, yeah, they are not like um, British British line infantry where you can somehow, like, um, yeah, you can somehow manage to to spend as much gold on one unit that is decent enough to to have that price tag. Oh, real fast, there was a question that was asked. Uh... It was, why did you run out of units to pick for an army when there were still plenty of funds and slots remaining? I'm not, I'm not sure if that's talking I, I, about... I don't know, I'm sure. <laughs> so you have a full stack and you have still funds remaining? I, no, you, the question is, why, why do you run out of units to pick for army when there are still plenty of funds and slots remaining? Ah, I think that's the... That's a, like, if you look at the funds... I, I mean... Yeah, it's quite different. You pick units and your funds go up and I could Instead of down, you, right? Yeah, yeah. Instead of down, you yeah, you have a maximum of 10,000 gold and that's it. And if you reach it, there's no more units to pick from. Just you have reached the maximum. Just it goes up, not down from 10,000. Right. Hey, um, also on another side note uh, with this 10 point France, do you spend about 3k on CAV or do you spend a little more? Do you find yourself staying in that um, range? I spent like yeah, I've spent pretty much exactly three thousand gold, but that's just like I know I know the units, uh, like the von Freistadt and the Muscadons, and they are just great. And then I pick them every time, basically I play them, and I don't really like heavy cavalry so much. So yeah, that's a common theme I feel like now. Oh, cool! I'm gonna actually try now this this build. I don't think I've tried ten point Oster. Österreich is Österreich. Is that what it was? Yeah, Austria, Österreich. Austria. All right, uh, Chain. I've seen you bounce around a couple of factions. Do you want to cover a faction? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I I like kind of just yeah talking about things. I'm not. Well, I mean, you don't have to like go into details about it if you just want to talk about. Just just talk about what whatever. <laughs> For a build, you don't have to cover a build, I guess. If there's any advice you want to give on choosing builds, mm. I don't know. Do you want to look at the Osterreich eighteen thirteen or something? Lajes and Dada could also jump in with this as well. Eighteen thirteen, the Austria eighteen thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I could do that. For a while. 
I don't know. Recently. I, I'm for some reason not seeing it. Wait, is it on? The, oh, you mean the coalition side? The yes. Oh, wait, oh, there it is. Nine point Austria. Oh my gosh. All right. Whoa, this is a lot. <laughs> yeah. I have not played this faction in a very it's long not, time. It's not too intimidating because I mean most of the infantry is rather garbage. I mean the Hungarians are like the most solid troops you'll probably get for the faction. And then maybe some of the mid to high tier Deutsch infantry, like there's some good options. So what's the difference uh, between the Deutsch and the Una what are, you know the Hungarish? Yeah. The Hungarians yeah. are faster mm -hmm. and better at melee. Okay. And oh, I, mean, I see. For the most part. And overall, Deutsch probably have higher man count. I mean, I guess you have yeah, some exceptions yeah. with the Davidovich or St. Julian, but I mean, for the same price, I mean, you can probably get something like, yeah, you can get like 100 gold cheaper compared to like the Davidovich and St. Julian. You can get Ed's Herzog Ludwig for 555, or the Kaiser Franz for 551, the Kirpin. And then the Frun. Yeah, all those are really good. Oh, and yeah. The Duca for the Ungarish infantry, like 600 gold is. I mean, everyone loves the Duca. It's excellent. Wow. That looks like a Grenadier stats almost. For it, which unit? Uh, the the Duca. Oh, well, uh, I mean, 15 is, I guess, quite good for. Um, I'm just surprised. <laughs> yeah. That's better than some French units, than a lot of French units for melee attack. And I guess it's the shooting that's also maybe surprising you as well. Like it yeah. performs so well for six hundred gold. Yeah. Yeah, seventy and reload also, skill. Oh yeah, it's excellent. And I mean, you also have some pretty decent melee, like the for cheaper, like in the three hundred gold range, like the Hiller and the Esterhazy. Yeah, that's it's good. It's, wow. I mean, cheap, it, and then the rest is kind of just cheap filler. I'm not. I'm never really gotten a good build with like the Grenzers, but some of the Jaegers are quite nice for their speed and shooting. Uh, the Jaegers. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the top left. like Beneath the Grenz. Yeah. Beneath the Grenz. Okay, yeah, I see. So these are like the light infantry. Okay, man, I've never tried this faction. I'm realizing that right now. I've, I don't think I've ever Pretty clicked much. on this one. Yeah, it's pretty fun if you want to play on the slower side. What do you usually bring for a gen? Do you bring a high star gen? I Schwarzenberg, yeah. most for the yeah. most part. They're really not bad for the price because when you think about it, like it's almost like I don't know. I think it's fairly cost efficient. Like I don't really mind paying uh, for seven inspires total with the inspire trait and the star stack, like eight hundred gold for Schwarzenberg. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, even Fremont or Fremont is good as well for six hundred gold. It's like a, it's like a hundred gold per morale point almost, but yeah, it's good. Good generals, and you don't even have to get a lot of um, cavalry for this faction. So I mean, if probably as a newer player, the morale's not great. But, I mean, you do have a mixture of quality infantry uh, and good generals for the price compared to say like the shit infantry. You know, mm -hmm. you kind of balance out the cost. As long as you know how to like stack your inspires and keep reserve lines, uh, then like. You can get a lot of stuff and just play it slow. Um, I mean, you could find a lot of hidden, like, uh, morale here and there. Like, you have the Von Schmola for three stars if you want a close-up support battery. I mean, he's a three-star general for, I mean, 100 gold more. I guess it depends if you don't want an infantry general. But then there's also plenty of grenadiers that, you know, fight well. They have inspire trade as well. Dang, and that, that, that has 69 accuracy on that. That three star mm -hmm. man. Yeah. And the reload's not bad at all. No. I like the grenadiers for this faction is you got quite a few cheap options at least, like for six hundred gold for pretty okay, like melee, like eighteen, nineteen melee. It's pretty good. Like the plus the, the plus two melee for the Whoa, it, this this one, the Purcell, five hundred and twenty five gold, it has a combat attack of twenty one and defense of twelve with a reload skill of sixty five. That's really cheap. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's also pretty small. That's why. Oh, 64 it then. That's yeah. why. <laughs> I was I like, that's like a. a yeah, and I like it mean... just as like a killer unit because it inspires as well. Wow, so and like, it forms square. Like, oh, here and there. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's nice. I like kind of brigading that with like, I don't know, like with 
something like for the cheaper infantry in the Deutsch. I mean, it's not thing special, but I like for 125 gold. There's like the Strausch, which has stamina, okay melee. I don't know. It's not important, but I yeah. like if I have extra gold left over, I like to mix those together. Oh, I told him. 139 gold chest. Yeah. Um, what about the land bear? Do you bring it? Is it not worth it? You have probably a better filler units than these, although it's really cheap. Yeah, but they are it's accuracy small. and reloading is like. <laughs> well, I mean, they're ninety. They're not even hundred men. I guess it's not worth it. No, not I really. mean, especially especially for this faction, I think with the infantry, you have you have quite diverse units. So if mm. you look at the at the middle range of the German infantry, there's mm. a couple of really big. Uh, like 200, 250 gold maybe. There's a couple of pretty big line infantry that aren't great, but that you can essentially use like like landwehr militia, stuff like... Yeah, 171 that. men for 200 yeah. gold. Mm -hmm. For example. Yeah. I want to try this faction that, now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that's too morale, but if you couple it with like a, a five-star gen, then you can also keep them in the fight for quite a while. Right, I, don't, and, I, yeah. I don't know, Chain, They're if you had mentioned... Cav specifically, you said you bring a lot more light cav. What about like Chevalier? Do you use light cav for just scouting, or actually do you use it, recommend using it in combat? Well, I mean, I don't like the light cavalry for this faction. I mean, I mean, it is for, expensive. In general, generally speaking, I mean, if you're going to pay like thirteen hundred gold or like a thousand gold for a hussar. I kind of like to spend the same amount of money for this faction on, like, say, the Dragoons, because they're massive, they're kind of like your fast punching units, because none of your infantry is going to really... I mean, they could do it if they're concentrated, but they're slow, they're not going to make the decisive punch, like, you know, say, 114, 140, 160 uh, man Dragoon or would. I mean, the thing is with these lights, uh, I mean, I like the Lancers, I like the Dragoons, just because, like, when they go in, they hit hard. If you take the Lancers... The oh, nice they're massive. Yeah, they're nice for the counter charge. The dragoons are excellent for that punch for your, on behalf of your infantry, or even rushing a gun position if you properly support it <laughs> with morale and infantry. Um, the dragoons could even take a gun position if you support it well, I think. But I mean, generally speaking, though, I mean the chefs are okay, the chevaliers, but the problem is they're so unwieldy and so large. It's like, eh, I yeah. don't really bother too much. And I mean, another thing to look out for is the stamina trait. If you're going to be running them around all the time, you want the stamina. But if you want to, I mean, either running them around all the time or like, um, you know, you want to keep something in combat for a long time. So maybe maybe you want a stamina trait for a Dragoon or a Cuirassier. But sometimes it's not necessary if they have a lot of manpower for generals. So right. Generals but yeah, that's my perspective on the calf for this faction. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. Um, but I'll just... Yeah, just one one unit I would like to mention is the Hungarian combat general from the Grenadiers, Josef von Stutterheim. He's like, I think, one of the most valuable units in this roster. Which he does one? have... Oh, yeah. The, wow. Yeah, yeah, he has crazy stats. 84 and... reload skill. 24 attack, 16 defense, and a morale of 15, plus shock, resist, and spire, and he's two stars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just placed him in the house, and the French tried to charge at house and lost, like, four units against him, and he didn't broke with, like, 20 men remaining or something. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Yeah. I would I would like to add on the light cap chain you said. Uh, they're too unwieldy. Uh, the big light cap. Maybe to ex explain on, explain that a little bit. Like, what what do you want? What do you want out of light cav if the big ones are too unwieldy? What, oh, that's what something that's not a hundred men. I mean, if yeah. it's like, I mean, if the bigger one, it's like, if I have a big light cav unit, I just expect to maybe hold ground temporarily, like maybe a frontal, or it's either go frontal and break, like knowing you're going to win decisively. Or just counter charge, you know, say a dragoon or a heavy in the flank or the rear. Otherwise, like, don't expect to do like little mm -hmm. sneaky, cheeky charges. I mean, with a light cap, if you want to do that, running around like forty, maybe fifty men is fine. But 100, 80, 90 men, too, too big. It, the Osterreich eighteen thirteen. It's all about like the counter charges, you know, just throwing your 
to wait around like that, I think. So, just proper yeah. allocation. Yeah, that's resorts. exactly what I meant. Like, if you, mo most of the time, light cav is better off being smaller. Um, mm -hmm. So you can maneuver them better and get rear or side charges. Mm -hmm. from yeah. I mean, especially if you're going for cav on cav. But with all strike 1813, it's, it's not yeah. really that worth it. It's you more shouldn't. like the counterattack. <laughs> So so light cav under a hundred is probably the best option, as a general rule. Uh, I would say like <clears throat> six forty to sixty men, max if you want to wield it around. I mean C eights obviously increase the maneuverability. It's C eights, C nines increase. I I know for a fact C eights do. C nines, I think they were saying something about speed. It, I don't know. C eights and C nines will increase maneuverability without a doubt. So I mean you could probably take bigger units and it won't be as unwieldy. But I like the 40-60 unit size, if possible. Something smaller, like 20 or 30, just save that for, like, again, quick, cheeky little charges. Like, you can't be as risky with it. You know? Right. Like... But they could still do damage on a flank or rear. It's yeah. If it's enough to now debuff. So, we, we've covered a lot more coalition than Imperial. Would you recommend a new player to do coalition first to start out, or should, would you recommend them to do Imperial to start out? I think, uh, I mean, I kind of like Imperial just because it's like a jack of all trades and you have decent speed if you want to get out and morale. I mean, 8 points, 18, 11 Peninsular, I think we play a lot as well, and that's a pretty straight forward faction, I guess. I know Data plays is a lot. If you want to talk yeah. about it. I think I think Imperial is more forgiving because exactly you, in general you have on av on average you have better morale and uh, better speed. Actually, mm -hmm. Imperial side gets a speed discount compared to Coalition. Um, so I think that that makes it easier in a sense because you're not going to route as fast and you can walk away from an enemy. <laughs> like more easily than if you were coalition but on the other hand what most new players do with imperial is just go into long and drawn out shoot shootouts you know line fights um and in my opinion that is that 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 can work with coalition armies um and it also can work in certain uh, circumstances with the imperials but in general you don't want to go into long line fights with imperial and I, as this eight pointer, I drew a Joseph Napoleon McDonald, uh, who is this? Claude Victor and uh, Suchet. Seems like a good mix. The Dragoons for eight point France are pretty good, right? That's right. Remember, the one thing I do remember is they have some good Dragoons. Yes, but there is. There's. I mean. Honestly, every French faction has good dragoons. French dragoons in general are like a pretty nice thing. You don't even um, need heavies anymore. <laughs> I mean, the issue with heavies is the uh, is is the speed, I guess. Um, yeah. You have to be much more aware of where you want to use them if you want to use them effectively. I've I've seen a lot of people bring heavies, and then they just sit there for most of the game. Then they're used once, and then they're exhausted. They don't have stamina, and then they yeah, you have a unit, a one-shot unit, basically. Um, I think, it, in my opinion, it, it takes more skill to use heavies really effectively and efficiently than it is does to, to uh, use Dragoons, because right. they're more versatile. But these are Dragoons are actually rather expensive for me. I use, I, yeah, which, which cores do you have? Um, Suchet, uh, Bellaloon... McDonald's and Joseph Bonaparte. Okay, I don't have McDonald's, I have Masena, but the rest of mine are are the same. So maybe we can um yeah, Masena has a lot of a lot cheaper dragoons. Um but for oh, really? example the the the, the uh Victor Victor uh dragoons, they're also fairly Yeah, I took um, so what I did just kind of like simulating if I was doing this build, I took the 9e and the 2e dragoons 671 gold and 955. <clears throat> i feel like that was a decent stats did you did you know kingston that the the e behind the number just means it's the same as first and second first and second like there's it oh, says the, one 91st e, that means first oh really yes. i did not know yes. that 
So, um, no, the ninety first and twenty first. Side note. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh wow, I did not know that. Um, Learn something new every day. So which 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 ones did you bring? Uh, the ninety first and the twenty first. So right next to uh, Victor. Uh, nine hundred fifty five gold and six hundred seventy one. <clears throat> That's what I probably would have brought as dragoons. Oh no! Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I I. Uh... I think I explained that badly. So the the first one you brought, the 955 gold, 2E means yeah. second. The E is just the ND part, basically, of in English. The ND part. Do you know oh. what I mean? Like you oh, can no, say uh, yeah, two, that makes sense. Or you can say second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I um, see. Like the oh, it's, ER it's the versus of the, of the e. word. I see, I see. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So it's, it's the second and the ninth. Yeah. Um, yeah, the ninth are kind of shabby, um, and the the second they don't have they don't have shock resistant or or stamina. Stamina, yeah. I like to have at least for for one of my dragoons, um, even if I don't plan on taking cav on cav fights, but just in case I get into a situation where I need to do it, I want to have one dragoon that can actually take a frontal charge, and for that I really want shock resistance. So you would want to buy a more expensive, because like all the rest of the dragoons that I have. Oh, actually no, I have the ninety. So the uh, the first, the first one, the royal yeah, you, dragoons. Yeah, exactly. You you could bring the the first dragoons. Um, that's a it's not a great one, but it's a decent one. Um, and then you can add maybe one or two more cheaper dragoons. Um, with uh, Joseph's core, there's also the Westphalian Chevaliers, which are dragoons. They're pretty cheap. They're not great, but uh, they will do the job. They have decent, a decent charge bonus as well. So with this one, you'd recommend bringing at least three Dragoons then? Oh, yeah. I would say, I, I mean, unless you bring the really expensive ones. Right. But yeah, bring bring three Dragoons. Maybe the, the first, the um, Westphalians, and... And maybe, maybe the, the second... Or the, or the ninth one of them. And then you can add a, a light cav. Um, the good thing is you have some really cheap light cav options here. Like there are... There's tons Android of them, Joseph yeah. has the, the Nassau, Nassau Chasseur a Cheval. Are 29, only 29 men, but it's pretty cheap. For scouting, it will do the job. And then you've spent uh, under 3k on cav, and you have 4 cav units. Oh, nice. Um... Yeah, on infantry there's a lot of diversity in this faction. I would say you don't have Masvina, so I'm not going to talk about him. Um, but you do have French units and a lot of mixed Spanish, German, Italian, even Irish units. Yeah. In this faction, um, like Roy Joseph, you see all the the flags beneath the yep. infantry units. You, well, see, you have are. Spanish units, you have Nassau units, um, and you can build a decent army out of of mixing them. For example, take a look at the um, first Spanish line, 163 gold. Hmm. Like in the... In, in Joseph's core. The Fusiliers? Or are we, we talking like the... No, the, the line. The fir first, first. first line, uh, Madrid is what it's, it's called. 100, 100 men, 163 gold. Let's see if I can... 100 men. Oh, yeah. I think I see it. Madrid. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty decent shooting stats. Morale isn't great, but also not too bad. Um, so I like to bring those guys. They can just stand and shoot and not route immediately. Um, the, the the next Spanish units, they're a little bit better. Um, especially when it comes to melee. When you, as you're going higher up, because you have the Fusiliers, the Royal Guard. I mean, it's a, these are small units though for Spain. Yeah, I mean, Roy Joseph has the nice, uh, nice option of bringing cheap inspires, like the Fusiliers de la Garde uh, Royale, the seventy-three men. Yeah, that's only four hundred thirty-one gold for an inspire. You can bring two of them, but yeah, low number. Keep them out of harm's way. You don't want them to be shot at. You don't only want them to shoot or inspire. It feels like this whole faction, though, has, like, low, small, it's like a UK, like, small units. Like, most of these aren't, like, there's a couple that are 124, but most of these are under 100. 
Yeah, if like you almost want, all of them. If you want some some uh, bigger sized units, then that's some different cores. Um, you have you said you have Suchet, right? Yep. Yeah, and McDonald actually has some good ones too, like on massive yeah. units. But yeah, yeah Suchet. Um, Masena also has some pretty big ones. Um, so yeah, that's a good part of uh, that's a good thing about cores. You can build the build a mixture of all the armies so, yeah like mcdonald's he has like 100 like for 300 gold basically 123 man unit which has good stats i'd say overall yeah i don't have mcdonald's so i can't comment on that. i think it's missena or mcdonald for like the beefy units mm -hmm. so for I the mean, most so, part so she seems... also has a, quite a few 120 and up oh yeah um i mean they're they're starting at like 100 uh, 300 gold 400 gold but even so it's solid it... solid french uh Nap naples even has some troops in here 150 men yeah yeah 200 they're big, but their morale is terrible shock resist square stamina man i mean yeah the morale is two morale. it's like two <laughs> morale. morale yeah there's one on the on the yeah. top right the one uh, I mean, these guys you can couple with the, for example, the sp uh, cheap royal guard and the cheap, uh, cheap French generals. Like Suchet is a five star for six hundred gold. That's pretty good. And then you can keep the uh, Neapolitans in the fight. Oh yeah. I've actually, I know I've played this faction. This was a fun faction. I do remember having to be a lot more careful about taking losses. Just because of the smaller units, but then yeah, those tanky units. It was a fun one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in, in in general, it's the same for me with imperial or coalition armies. I want to have a part of my army, especially part of my infantry, that is basically meant to take hits, and I want a part of my army that is meant to deal damage. So the Grens, um, you would want to invest in some Grens, probably. Not necessarily just Grens. I mean, it can be line infantry. Um, but I want a few units, at least, that are ideally cheap and big. Mm -hmm. um, so they can take fire without without dying immediately. Um, and also not costing me too much money. And then I want, uh, I want speed, morale, and offensive stats. So either shooting or melee in my... In my yeah, breakthrough units or my my shock right. troops. Now, if you're gonna be doing a more aggressive stance, do you bring artillery and do you bring fast, like low caliber? I guess is the word for it, like four pounders, six pounders. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if if you're gonna build a fast army, you should bring smaller guns because they they tend to have more speed, and uh, you want your guns to be able to keep up with your infantry at least. Um, in pub games, it can be difficult. Like I've played many times in pub games and I've noticed that by the time I had deployed my guns, the game was sort of over. Yeah. Um, or the battle moved too quickly to make, get good use of the, out of the guns. But that was because I went in pretty aggressively. Um, in general, I think it's always good to have a battery. You can get some pretty cheap ones. Like with the Roy Joseph core, you have the two gun six pounder Baden artillery. It's solid six pounders. Um, yeah. They're four, they're only 300 gold. And um, yeah, guns are, guns are always useful. Like if you defend, you can, um, you can uh, make the enemy pay for approaching you. If you attack, you can try to create a, a break in the enemy line with them. And if you're not doing either, if you're just marching or when you just, when you just, uh, scouting out the enemy you can shoot at enemy cav that's true or snipe generals you know or i kind of like for sushi i feel like i would bring this italian horse artillery and like this four pounder like 300 400 gold each mm -hmm. that, that's just me i mean they're mobile f f5 f6 i just like the mobile stuff yeah yeah the italian guns are also pretty pretty nice so with my roles right now, I would probably bring two six-pounder batteries, the Italians and the Baden six-pounders. Not, not sure if you meant that, um, but that's that would be 700 gold for four guns, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. That's pretty good, yeah. And then you have the three Dragoons and the one Light, and then you still have six something like 6,000 gold to spend on, um, on infantry. 
and then you can bring a few of the cheaper cheaper lines of Victor like the Bell Loon guy um, for example the 45th uh, line regiment for morale 124 men that's a good meat shield bring like two and or three 218 gold on the yeah Victor core. Um, they're fairly sizable would you bring the Fusiliers Guard Royal or did you bring the uh, other Madrid from Joseph? Would you bring any of those? Um, yeah. I I would bring the Madrid actually because they can, they can even shoot. Um, I would also bring the um, the foreigner, foreign legion basically of the Spanish. Which is the, I don't know, Legion de Etrangere or something. Uh, 291 gold. Pretty solid unit. 91 men. Just one or two of those. Maybe two. Depends on what you want to do with them, but it's a it's a really nice unit. Good yeah, shooting stats. Good. Decent melee, shock resistance, stamina. Um, you can even couple those guys with the um, the 124 man unit of, of Victor. Oh yeah. Basically, be, be have the have the big units be like the the shield for the for the smaller ones, and then have the small ones do the damage. Maybe throw in a cheap uh, cheap square from from Suchet if you can find one. Or yeah, for, uh, the cheap cheapest square, ones not. like 103 man, the 116th. I think Victor gets a cheap square. I think maybe the Con for 340 gold. Yeah, that he does. Just as expensive as Suchet, but I mean, it's it's also pretty small though. It's eighty-seven men. Well, I have a combat maybe, gen maybe, square. Maybe the Baden square. The Two hundred fifty-seven gold for ninety men, but it's a square. It's a combat gen. Hmm. Yeah, that might that might work. I'll probably do that. Yeah, and then you have a decent L three brigade, and then you can think about whether you want something faster now. Uh, whether you want to add some grenadiers to what you've just brought, because you have with uh, with Espana, you have a lot of good grenadier options. Uh, you have the Frankfurt grenadiers of Joseph's core that are pretty decent. You have in Victor's core, small but cheap grenades, the ninety sixth and the twenty fourth. Also G four. So now you can think about building a G four brigade. Maybe these grenades. Which ones? Um, in in Victor's core, you have two cheap grens, three hundred and eight and two hundred ninety four gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are good. See them? Yeah. Yeah. You can you can combine them maybe with a with um, some L four line infantry from Suchet. He has the La Montagne, for example, cheap line, or even the Les Volontaires, four hundred eight, four hundred ten gold. They're more sizable. They can shoot. Um, they can melee a little bit. They have stamina. Yeah. At least the, the volunteers have stamina. Yeah, that's how I grabbed the volunteers for the, sure. With the grenadiers and another square, maybe. And then you have two decent brigades. Let's see if I can find that. Just... It's finding the squares that are the most interesting part, for sure. Yeah. It's also... Squares are, like, one of my pet peeves. It's... I want to spend as little as possible on squares, but sometimes you... You, you, you kind of have just to. Need yeah. You, yeah, they're, they're certainly useful in certain situation, uh, situations. But most of the time for squares, I don't need them to shoot. I don't even need... I don't need them to melee. Most of the time, I just need them to have a certain speed, certain morale, certain size. And be able to square. Do you so bring any Voltigeurs? Do you like bringing skirms? Um, yeah, Voltigeurs are for Imperial. Pretty, they're pretty useful. I mean, there's oh. some pretty cheap ones here. Like, there's a Swiss unit for uh, McDonald. Uh, it's 147 gold, 30 man, 90 oh, yeah. range, yeah, 33 Swiss, accuracy. Swiss, lights, uh, Swiss skirms are pretty nice. The ba Baden, there's also Baden Voltigeurs. Um, 102 gold. Well, that's two really, really cheap skirms. That's like 200 gold or 250 gold total yeah. on skirms. And 
with with those you can try to bait enemy cav um, most of the time or many times people will go for it and throw a, a light cav at your at your skirms and if you if you support the skirms they will lose the light cav and then you've traded 100 gold for three four or five yeah um yeah then of course there's also the the higher tier we've only been looking at low tier infantry to couple it with grens you can also look at the uh, higher tier french infantry or maybe even in in suchet's core the polish infantry that's some really good shock troops. i actually was like, just looking at them legion yeah <laughs> Starting with the third, which is still sort of affordable at 568 gold. And it's a really good all-round unit. It has speed, it has stamina, it can square. It's above 100 men, it can melee, and it can shoot. Plus oh, yeah. 10 morale is pretty nice. Um, and then if you go to the to the first and the second, that's like, that's really elite units there. Oh yeah, and 128 men. Yeah. So, so then, if if you want to, what what you can do is, so you've you've built the the sort of line holding brigade first, the L three one, and then you can decide, okay, but for the other one, I want I want it to hit really hard, and then you can maybe take take two of the of the Vistula Legion and couple them with a few French lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Like you bring even. Well, that's fast. Um, Kingston, how much longer were you thinking about streaming builds and such? Like, would you want to play a game soon? Or? Yeah, no, I, I was just thinking, I was like, well, maybe it's time to maybe apply a build to a game. Yeah, like, I know you fast. I mean, we'd yeah, probably have to rehost the lobby because it's been sitting up for so long. <laughs> oh, for sure. It's also test maps. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, this is a really nice build I have right here. I like this one. I to try it. But yeah, I'd be down to restart, try game. Yeah, I think Implex Ryan was looking to play. You there, Lajas? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Do you have time for a game still? Or you... Yeah, sure. All right, I'm, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back out and restart my game. Maybe we could do like a public forest forge and just split it one-on-one, -on -one, like person. Oh, you mean like have some of us on one side and on the other? Or? Yeah, because we're okay. six right now, so Inflex wants to play as well. Okay. So. Yeah, let me just restart and get this loaded up. As long as it doesn't take too long. <laughs> sure. I mean, we have six people already, so I mean, it shouldn't take too long. And I'm sure there's somebody on your stream who probably wants to play too. Well, that was good, though. That was, I, I don't know, I learned a lot there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how long have we been streaming for already? I mean, like half an hour um, maybe? Oh, I think it's longer. It's been an hour. An hour. Wait. Let me click. Going for, yeah, an hour. That felt relatively <laughs> productive. I mean, yeah, I mean, three uh, facts. But I mean, you know, speaking in detail about game mechanics and all these things. Yeah, and I, I learned quite a lot myself, so. All right, well, while they're coming back, I'll let someone else host, and I'll be right back. I can host. Uh, lodges. Yeah. Well, wait, how do we want to do this, like, with regards to... Maybe we'll wait for everyone to come back, and maybe we could figure out who wants to play what. Uh... Yeah, I mean... I don't know, do you want to play Coalition or Imperial? I don't know. Hold on a I'm second, back. I'll be right back. Here, I'll, <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to see if Matt, Bob, and Falcon want to... Maybe do an oh, well. or something because Brian messaged me about them. I've been mm -hmm. speaking and uh, I thought you guys were just ignoring me, but I had just muted on Discord. <laughs> when, when... Talking, sitting there talking about units and stuff. And... When did we ever ignore you? <laughs> like, <laughs> when, when was this a thing? Me? 
Hmm? Do I do I want to play? What was the question? No, we want to make a like maybe an internal if we get enough people. Mm -hmm. We have six, and uh, Jamil's asking not Bob, I think. So it'd be... yeah, yeah. I'm I'm probably sitting out the next game. What? Yes. What? I still haven't eaten dinner, so I'm really hungry, and I want to eat. Spend a little time with the with the girlfriend. Get her in the lobby as well. Easy. I did try to get her into into video games. She just hates them. <laughs> she's unresponsive. Yes, <laughs> she's AFK like her entire life. <laughs> nice. But yeah, are we are we done with the with the stream? No, it's still on. No. <laughs> oh. it's on but we are still waiting on Kingston to get the lobby. All right, up. sorry, I'm I'm back now. What are we we'll, doing? We'll, we'll we'll join your hell, I suppose. Yeah, we just wait for Chain to host the game. Cool. Yeah. All I've right. Been here. I just muted myself. So wait, if that is not playing, oh, Normie's here. Does he uh, want to play too? No, I don't think Normie has in TW3. We just brought him along. <laughs> yeah, he wants to stream. We're supposed to. We're supposed to do a tournament game, but Two Hammers' uh, internet isn't working, so. Yeah. yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll leave him for the show until next week. <laughs> I was gonna do a Tavu 14 pointer and just meme about, but. <laughs> I am streaming still. Okay, that's his name. That's a name. I, okay, I, I'm sorry. That's his name. All right. Well, what do you want me to say? No, mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that is his name. Yeah. Uh, Kingston, any more, any more questions? I hope that was useful. No. Yeah, I, I think it was. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I actually... I don't know. That helped me out with some of the builds I've been looking at trying. I forgot about that 9-point HRE. Or is that Austria? Austria. That was Austria. I don't think that's a meme. Have... It's, they can melee. Yep. They can melee, which is the worst part. There's a nice irregular unit at the bottom. It's like 300 gold, 29 accuracy, and 8 morale, L5. Right, so what you're saying is we need one more person that I hear is Butler. Butler's not online. Butler's not online. Is that, is that a planner now? No. You better play, Data. You better play. No. I'll put a pipe bomb in your mailbox if you don't. Well, you can try to find me. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> because Steely Dan. Challenge yeah. accepted. Uh, Steely Dan's right. hosted right. a game. He literally has a game up. Unhost. Tell him to unhost. Tell him to unhost. I'll message him. Yes. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I'm off, guys. All right. Thanks for, thanks for joining, Dad. You're welcome. I think we need some Among Us music here. Copyright strike. Anyway. How's it going? Thank you. I don't need luck. I'm just kidding. He's only luck when you have an auto clicker. He doesn't need luck when you have an auto clicker. Give him an auto clicker. He'll do fine. I can fim. You don't need. You don't need luck when you have an auto clicker. You need one more person. Who do, we, who do we can script? Steely Dan, yeah. come on. Just get Steely him in Dan, here. Man. Just like unhost. I mean, we have so many people we can conscript. You guards on my uh, Discord could get him. Uh, we just Discord. got someone. No, no, we didn't. No, nah, it was just Normie. Oh, what about Beauregard? Mm, Beauregard. So Drusco, Gord, Lachey. So, Trans. There were so many people in the server. Skylord. 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 Oh, Skylord. It's been a long time since I played a game with him. Hmm. He's he's turned here. into a gringo, just disappears off the face of the earth. What happened to Gringo? No one knows, honestly. Maybe he actually went to Brazil. <laughs> went to Brazil. He responded to my DM like a month ago or something. I would be surprised if he just is like silently just watching my streams. He's never commenting. Butler's online. Hmm. All right. Well, for the uh, Battle of Franklin, I mean Louisville. Just uh, yeah. All and right. Chain's gonna host give, you. Normie will give you orders, and just you just yeah. It's it'll just be really just. Oh, some Welsh question. blades. Uh oh. 
Ooh, someone oh, no. sounds upset. I'm on oh, 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 shit. Ben's here. Ben. Someone's getting yelled at. Ben. What's happening ben. here? What the f- okay, you've been conscripted into an internal. Um, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you've been conscripted to an internal, Ben. Get in here. Oh, God. <laughs> Get in here right now. I forgot you were in the server. <laughs> Being conscripted for torture. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. All right, Chance probably gonna have to put the password in like Discord or something. So. Yeah, I'm I'm streaming. So no, you say the password out loud. Oh. Don't put it on. Don't put it on the stream. You know. The no, he's only streaming on TW3, so as long he won't see this. Oh. I have like I have like 20 people that could probably get in if you said the password. So. All right, the password, Wait, guys. The password is, is like, two, password's one. 81? 81, password's 81, 89, 67, 14. Uh, yes, well, she was me during that failed game. 67. Oh, okay. Wow. Was it really actually that? No. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, let me see this. My All right, God. where will luck place me? Imperco, Imperco. Wait, what was, what was the password? Does it matter? Uh, oh no, past... I'm on Ryan's team. Fuck. Oh no, I'm on Ryan. Oh, be, well, I'm on Ryan's, Ryan's team okay. now. I oh. need to be Imperial. I need to be oh, on Imperial. I'm just... Ryan's team. I need to oh, be on Ryan Imperial. Ryan is no longer <laughs> with us. <laughs> Ryan is... You guys bullied me out the chat. Out the... Boom, baby. I'm back. I'm back and... Uh, no! no. Yes! Yes. All right, Falcon, you're in call. Ryan's oh, damn it. All right. No nope, nope, worry. Ryan, nope. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, Ben. All right, we got this taken care of. I'll just sit back, relax. All right. All right, then, to a salt column. Yeah, we're oh. 1812. Uh, what did uh, you say the thing was? Like, uh, uh, oh, you posted it. Wait, wait, are, it. wait, are you doing a core? Oh, oh, fuck. There's so many people now. Falcon, get in. How much? What's the password? Wait, what's how, the password? Did, how did people uh, know the password? Like, well, no. probably because someone screamed it in on here, probably. Uh, care of us? hundred and thirty. It's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, we have a yeah. It's <laughs> fine. I didn't come in. Uh, Kar- yeah, Kar- is Karyovsky in here? Oh, that's yeah, that's me. Yeah. And yeah, see, no, everyone's in here. It's fine. It's yeah, just yeah, everyone came to the run? server because of all the ad here's we may have may not have done. <laughs> I mean, I just I mean, did Shane. Did you just DM like twenty people? Did no, somebody I, say me wrong? I actually DM'd you. Oh. Did someone say water? So, all right, so what what, what we want to do, guys? T O W core, uh, eighteen twelve core Mira and W eighteen twelve. We're just getting moved. Did they, did they move Normie here? Uh, Ryan, what, what what's going on? Chen was just. Uh, Ryan, Ryan. Uh, well, calm, calm's here. Okay, why is calm? Here? Okay. Calm okay. Calm we're, we're just okay. No, we can't say that. Falcon, we can't say you that. You can't here. say oh. that right now. You can't oh, say oh, that. I'm gonna get canceled. Gosh dang it. No, no, listen, listen, listen. How how will Google know what Kampf Grupa Piper is? No, no, stop. Stop. No. Oh. I'm about to mute Falcon. you. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's probably go TOW so that way we don't. Uh, or do well, you want to be wrong? It was a good no. timing. I just finished my, finished my lunch. We are. Oh, I'm now bringing, we're, we're doing the crest here. Now we're doing bring the crest here division. We are doing eighteen twelve. No, what? Gosh what dang it! Doing? This is why. This is why they moved me before. Like we decided what the, what we were doing. Vertenberg. Oh, uh, I have like five crest here. So. So, T O W. Yep. I don't know. What's what's. Uh, wait, eighteen oh five. Wait, wait. What are, what are we doing? Uh, no one knows what the what hell we're doing. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, oh, what sh- are you doing? <clears throat> ah, so what are we doing? Here, put him in his place. Yeah, to make it better. Boom. Right, map up, map up. I have a thing here. Stream. What are we doing? I don't. Know. Oh yeah, you got the stream, Falcon. You're fine. Yes. No, this is the mural build. All right. Um, are we doing just toe? We don't know what the hell is going Toto. on. They, des- they decided to move us before we decided what we were doing. 34 points. 34 points. Okay. 34 points. We're doing two W cores. What? 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 We're doing this. I'm going to do a seven pointer. 
Wait, what are Falcon? What do you? What you? What are you doing? Uh, Way to play Giuseppe Lecky. Giuseppe Lecky. Spoiler! Spoiler! Gonna watch this ever? I'm gonna say Giuseppe Lecky. Giuseppe Lecky. Lecky. Giuseppe Lecky. 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 Wait, what? Hands making Falcon play at that point. F. Oh, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, what was Spele doing in Russia? Okay, no, Falcon, we're not doing cards. We're not doing cards. We're just we're doing TW. We're just doing the All TW. Right. All right, guys, please. please. Room. But, but we're about to do a six pointer. Uh, um, no, what? <clears throat> Which we got like? Oh, we have thirty-five. So what's going on? I could go like uh, <laughs> Italy. Or Flanders. I have uh, hello. I could do Italy, Ryan. Ryan. I could citizen. do Italy, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Fuck it, do Italy, Ryan. We'll do it. We'll do the meme. Okay, but, 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 but. Uh, yeah. Do the funny meme. All right. Oh, this has the two hundred thirty-five oh, grenadier. Oh Any my more gosh! More. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm bringing, I'm bringing only what? calf. No, he has Udo. Only calf. Okay. Uh, all Udo. dragoons available for this faction. <laughs> no, I mean. I mean, you won't use up all your money, but like. What to the timestamp for the guide? So I can watch that after the stream. Um, just go to the very beginning of the video, Welsh. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you do all the hard work. <laughs> like literally, we start at the beginning of the stream. I'm over and... some coffee. Oh, this is based. 194 mana salt column. I don't know what to do. Don't need squares? Yeah. I don't even know what this map is. All right, I have six thousand left for line infantry. Uh, my pub look at stream. My pub's getting coffee. Because he's an addict. Uh, I mean, I uh, to be fair, I have coffee too, <laughs> but I'm not an addict. I just have to have it every day. Oh. I say that because like two days ago, we're playing a game at like eleven o'clock, whatever, closing in on twelve, and he's like, "I'm gonna get myself some coffee." I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Bad Bob is a poopy head. He's not here. He's a poopy head. <laughs> Actually, let's get. <clears throat>
All right, I feel like I'm a six pointer, so I don't need to bring tons. Nice. I have no responsibility. It's not my fault if we lose. Hmm? Let's well, talk. Maybe. It's Falcon's fault if we lose. Confirmed. Yep, I agree. Yep. yep. Falcon. Blame the pointer. bird. Blame the damn bird. Bro, I'll look at my build. I know what your build is, Falcon, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Is not beautiful. What the hell did you do? How? What? No. 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 <laughs> Five. Okay, I see four things wrong with the build. All right, guys, I'm bringing uh, old guard horse artillery, spending a third of my total. All right, and now you want to go to your left a little bit more? A left to your left to your left? No, to your left. Yep, yep. You know that. You know what buttons to press. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Like. No, no, no. You right click that. Okay, good. Nope, no, 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 no. Now you want to look for big units. Big units like in No, the not. In the yes, yes. Let's go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. No, not that far right. Look at look look at that beauty right there. To the left, to the left, to the left. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Yes. And this uh if you want yeah i just you just want size size matters size matters yes okay oh, don't do that that's expensive as fuck yeah yes yes um, could do these if you want to yeah but yeah and then go to the right no 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 not that far right yeah that Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Perfection. Mwah. That's right now, we are, we are like overturning everything that Kingston just said, but you know, that's how it works. So that's exactly what you want to do, Falcon. Thank you. Okay. Did you get Payol, Ben? Um... I mean, I could technically get anything, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll stream for Normie. Or right, Normie can watch this and stream, I suppose. I don't actually. Yeah. It'd probably be confusing though. We'll just do this. We'll make, we'll just we'll just do two streams at the same time. Why not? Why not? Why not? Don't stop streaming. Well, oh no! Whoa! 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 You want me to stream? No, I got it. I, I'm a more stable streamer. Not really. Well, I've never, I've never even streamed before. So you want to stream? You want, you want to be, you want to be the streamer? Yeah, Bob's gonna crash. You want to, you, you want to get, you want to get the, you want to get the points, the Twitch, the twi the Twitch points. Well, no. All right, all right. You, you, you get the points. You get the points. You get the uh, donations. I get, the, I get the twenty points. Yeah, you get the, you get like the, you get bets. You get twenty bets. I get um. Have you seen that? Have you seen the video where the one streamer just gets a donation, like an actual hard cash, and then they they're like, "Oh, this feels like shitty." <laughs> uh, that's a funny. It's, it's funny. Okay, you're gonna stream or not? Come on, you gotta connect with your audience fast, Falcon, or you lose their attention. Well, okay, you you don't know how to stream. Well, they're they're on Kingston stream. <laughs> well, no, we're streaming for Normie. He's wait. He's watching your stream. Yeah, because I I stopped streaming, but then I started streaming back up again because you don't know how to stream. What's wrong? Uh, Falcon doesn't know how to be a streamer. You don't know how to be a streamer. You can't. He can't make the Twitch box. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> wear crop tops, Falcon. Wear, Falcon, wear crop top. Bet. Have a face cam, and you probably can stream on Twitch. Foot, no, you need you need a foot cam. Oh 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 wow! How to get banned? <laughs> they don't ban you for showing feet on Twitch, do they? Feet are TOS. They are they, actually. Wait, what really? The I'm pretty sure it's feet are TOS. Yeah. <laughs> Unless that's like I think they changed. It was a thing before, though. <laughs> like people joke about it, but mm -hmm. apparently, it's, uh, as I understand, it's a thing. Fuck. Okay. The feet cam is banned. Oh. I mean, no surprise. You know, devastating map, Bob. I know you wanted to show your feet on stream. Here. I know it. They are beautiful hobbit feet. What can I say? <laughs> well, I'll talk about feet, please. Like in... what? What? 
You don't like the Hobbits? You don't like Lord of the Rings, Falcon? Is that what I'm getting at? Wow. Wow. Let me tell you, let me guess. You don't like elf ears either. Ear fetishes? Okay, that's going a step too far. Falcon's <laughs> just insecure about his feet. You know? What? Do you like have like no feet or something, Falcon? Oh, my feet are small. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You know what they say about small feet? That what? is true. It is proven fact. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do. What? What I see? No, 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 no. Hoping. Oh wait, I was about to say like Canadian up Canadian, Canadian shoe size oh, probably oh, is no, different. They're not gonna they're, they're not gonna read it for a while. What? So, All right, let's just let's just do let's just do a battle. Just go post the battle. Okay, you can't sit here and eat all my beef jerky. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Scribble time. Are shoe sizes different in Canada? Well, well there, there is... Uh, well, what, what do you They're guys worse. have? Fuck, I like, just joined a random game. No. Oh. What, what do you guys have, like? It's just feet. Just feet. feet. Just yes. feet. Um, let me think. Just ads. Let me think here. So I think we have... There is, like, US... I'm sorry, I can't hear you over this super fucking loud ad. Holy uh, shit. Why... I can't mute it either. Why... Why is this thing so loud? I don't know, man. The fourth industrial revolution. What the fuck? Wait, there was a. Oh, I just yeah. want to. I just want to play Scribble. There was a third industrial revolution. I don't fucking know. All right, Wait, um, we to research this. All right, here's the code. Um, here we go. Oh, what? Okay. Playing Scribble. Oh, Scribble. Really? You've never played Scribble before? No, uh, cool. I haven't. Uh, it's a fun. It's like uh, it's Pictionary, but online. Oh, oh, well, nice. Actually, sounds fun. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. red because red sauce. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> right, we just gotta, we just gotta make sure that your, make sure your armies are ready before. Oh, is there a, cool. is there a stash? Free dogs. All right, free dogs. Um, here you go. We're playing. Is this. there a stash here? Like you know that that person stash? Oh. All right, come on. Normie was the first one in. What is this? Wow. Okay. okay I got. Uh, Okay. Who's Risk? Who the hell's Risk? I don't. I don't know what this is. That's me. Oh, that's you. That's you. Okay. Yeah, that's me. I, I don't know how okay. to. All right. So we're waiting on Kingston and Ben. You really can't you do like, have a group like the Among Us. <laughs> like, well, we're, we're I, I sent you a link to the Scribble game. Oh, hold on. I gotta un <laughs> have to unread it here. <laughs> All right, Wait, so we got... Who's, who the fuck's... Who the fuck's... <laughs> <Ben>. <laughs> I'm just waiting on Kingston. All right, come on, Kingston. I'm playing Scribble. Come on. Ah. So then... How, how do so I... I have... Do I create... Do I just sit play? Uh, did you get my link? Y I, yeah, I, I clicked on it. Yeah, and then insert the code. Yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, you are okay, high okay. maintenance, girl. I have no more beef jerky. You ate it all. It's a... F <laughs> She's cleaned me out of beef jerky. It's ridiculous. Oh god. All right. So pretty much. Oh, Kingston left. Well. Oh, I did. I wasn't here. Oh my gosh! Not an ad. No. <laughs> no, it's so loud. Among Us is choosing a word. Yeah, it is a loud ad. Among Us is choosing a word. It's a loud ad. Oh, I didn't realize that we started. Yeah, yeah, we started, so then you choose a word. Okay, now, now you gotta draw. Now you gotta draw. You're okay, on the uh, right side. Right. on the right side what it is. Right. You can still join mid progress in Free Free Kingston. I know. I don't have more points for like, longer. Did you guys think? Yeah. Um, no, it's shorter actually. Oh, you want okay. to get it. Alright, I'm here. Uh oh. What are we supposed to do? Whoa. Nobody fucking already got the word. Is it really ugly? There we go. Uh, why? Hmm? Okay. 
don't, dang it. What the fuck? Is, I don't. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm stupid. All right, oh. and now Fal can you choose a word? Oh, uh, all right. How do we do this? You just draw. You, you draw what the word is. One, two, three, four. Five, all right. Six, um, let's wait. See. Here. <laughs> um. Uh. Dang it. Let's see. Um. What the fuck? What the heck? How? What is this? Um. On the top of your screen. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. It completely slipped my mind up. I don't know. What? M A. Like, you can't shorten it in order to get the right answer. No, I don't know what this is. This thing. What the? F I put oh, Trump. Oh. I put freaking Trump. Oh, gosh. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Shortening yeah. it doesn't doesn't uh give you the. Right he, Trump's answer. orange. Like, come on, it's the easiest thing to do. He's orange. That's right. It's not yellow. It's orange. Although the wig. Oh. What? Falcon at NTW three. <laughs> 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 Wait, no. <laughs> uh. We're just burning oh, Falcon God. now. <laughs> that's all that's happening here is we're just burning Falcon. <laughs> Wait, this is sad. What, what is this? What is this supposed uh, to be? A cup or something. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Garbage. Oh. Yes! Is God damn it! I said the answer. the word. <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> Fucking retard. Oh. Thanks, thanks for the points. Oh fuck! How do it's I do this? We're starting soon, guys. All right, Promise. All right. Um, this is both of this is really shitty. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh oh. Oh, what? Wait, what? What the <laughs> heck? What? <laughs> like, what it, you were you trying to like signal us that this is like the Michelin Man? Like, yeah, <laughs> got it. I don't fucking get this. Dude. Dude. Uh, you just keep typing like, stuff. I made like tire muscles over here. Add it, add it more, add more. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Seems a little too. <laughs> Okay. Oh, God. oh oops. I wasn't looking. I, I spelled it. I spelled it wrong. I was type. I was looking away. I was looking somewhere. That's really easy. Are they ready to play yet? No. Oh, how? These are all kind of kind of bad. I don't like this. Destroy us, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what he looks like. Oh, you're, why are you not streaming this, Kingston? This is like pure gameplay. Uh, it wouldn't let me stream for some reason. Think uh, four letter word. Think, uh, oh god. <laughs> uh, what does he look like? This is, this is snow. Oh! Yeah, I might have got it. What? I don't know. There's, there's nothing more I can do here. Oh, I, I got it. Uh, I, I can't yeah. think of any more like. I, 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 I like, like it. You can do it like dan dancing, eyes, a smiley mouth. You can do no. like. What is? Uh, I mean, 
I, I, I couldn't remember the character, I just remembered it now. They're, they're still picking factions. They still swap. They're still swapping about factions. All right. Oh, I'm streaming it now. It's working. Oh, are we oh, oh you're <laughs> streaming this now? Good. Yo. Quality content, yeah. boys. This is quality. quality Better than sitting in a lobby doing oh, nothing, okay. right? Okay. Okay, let's see this. Here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, let's black outline for what oh. here okay that's kind of retarded yeah, did you use the right colors yeah you can choose colors i know i know you didn't choose the right so... colors <laughs> what is this what what Um, let's see. Oh, gosh. What? Okay. What? Oh, wait, What was wait. the first thing you drew? <laughs> <laughs> what was what's the first thing you decided to draw? There's oh, no. What country is that? Dang it. Real Kingston failed geography. Oh, darn, dang it. You can look at the top of your screen. It'll tell you like uh, how many like words, like how many letters oh, there are. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, like for this, see, it's like you can know it's two words because of that. What? Uh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? What, what the heck? Fuck? What is this? <laughs> um, what are you, dude? What are you drawing? Uh, he got a he got a tie. We're in a he got a tie. Man is. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't help. Two A's does not help. That does not help. I mean, a fat chance. Excuse me. What? What? Oh wait, what? Barack Obama. Oh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Looks about right. Uh, are they? Are they? Are they ready? Yeah, like the there? like the the pyramid spinning meme or whatever. Oh. Okay, you guys. You guys are just. Uh. Three-letter word. Oh yeah, it's a three-letter word, huh? What? What? Ha <laughs> ha. That, that's an idiot. I got him. What the fuck? Okay, there, there are two of them. I'm still not ready to up. Blue. What? Come really? <laughs> Oh, X. Think about it. Think it about the it. spot. Think about it. What's it on? <laughs> what? No. It's a three-letter word. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Three-letter word. <laughs> okay. They're ready. 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 All right, we'll finish this round. Finish this round. Yeah, we'll finish this round. We'll finish this round. You have to wait on us. Oh, I selected a different. Huh? That's oh. actually a pretty good drawing. There we go. All right, all right, all right. We're done, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
god. Wait, why did I get pinged in Lords? I don't know. Let's go. Calling you trash. Calling you garbage. Trash. Lobo. Lobo. Yeah. Took long enough. Here we go. Let's go. How long are we in lobby? Like, <laughs> we'll find out with the stream. Like, yeah, was, Ooh, thirty wild. minutes. Thirty minutes. Oof. At least thirty minutes. Forgotten what I brought. Yeah, what's this map? Oh, it's, it's this map. <laughs> cringe. I already like this map. Slightly cringe. Oh man, can't minimize now to fix it, but my uh, comments are hidden. So if you're commenting, oh. I can't see you. Oh, it's this map. This map's all right. Uh, um, fucking uh, scribble is gonna be better than whatever this is gonna be. Scribble. <laughs> Someone tried spamming a bunch of like stupid links on my stream. Shot that down nice. fast. Nice, nice. Dumb dumb bot can't maze with me. Ooh, look at that. Swiss cheese. Okay, we'll work with it. Uh racism test. Racist. Racism test. I'll need to take that sometime. <laughs> I took like a BuzzFeed one once, and it was uh, interesting. What did it say? I don't remember, but I think it said I was racist. Oh. Mad <laughs> Bob look racist? Confirm. God. Oh, uh, where's Mad Bob? No. Oh. Oh, Mad Bob's in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Let's go! Oh, I actually am, like, in the middle of nowhere. Damn. Um, shit. What we do? Oh, no, it wasn't a BuzzFeed one. It was, it was like, like, um, uh, it was like a, what? It was like a biases test. It was, no. yeah, it was a biasy test, like, done by some fancy, uh, think tank. And it's like, I think yeah, it's like, we're taking it in class. Uh, it's like from AP Gov class, and for some reason it's like biases, so we're just doing biases for it. And, yeah, apparently it's like, yeah, you have a slight preference, and I'm like, shit. To be fair, I was um, not completely concentrated on the test, and I was joking around with friends, but... Yeah, yeah. Tell <laughs> it to the cops. <laughs> Tell it to the cops. <laughs> All right, so who's on the left? Kingston. All That's right, Kingston. You GTFO. You're dead. Yeah, just run away. Okay. I will run towards right. you. Hello. Gonna, gonna I mean, I am away. L3, L4. Run away. Run away. Run away. You, you, you have play. squares or something. I don't know. That doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, you have cavalry. Holy shit. Alright, so Falcons got the infantry handled. Yeah, this, this is slow infantry, so. You have L3, L4, and L2. You're like a mixed bag. But you have infantry, which is all that matters. I want all my army to be L6. Oh, yeah. Oh, L6. Room. Good lord, that'd be ridiculous. Alright, and then, so me and Ben are gonna be the more run away, dynamic armies. Run away, run away. So I guess I'll just go to my boom or something? Um, no, 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 no. We need to play to our strength, which is something. <laughs> it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's something. something. That's we like, have some strength, uh, guys. We have, we have something going for us. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but we have something. <laughs> oh god, that... You see, they have two Britons. Yeah, and a Prussian. Like and a Prussian. Okay. They have a Prussian. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do... Guard Hill Push 3.0. Oh god. Oh. Uh, yeah. Death. So, I'll take that hill, the big hill... Yup. ...that the Prussia spawns on. Hold it till you guys get here. Um, well, I, that will be a long time for me, but... I'll use the road. What? It's a road. Whatever. A road? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I see that road, but, like, I don't yeah. start on the road. Oh, yeah, well, get there. 
Yeah, we'll get there. We'll like, get, it's there. Like we'll it's get there it's when we get there. We'll get there. The, the roads literally just spawn. All right, whatever. Okay, that's the plan. Cool, we'll do that. Bavaria bo bolstered by a bunch of... Uh, I'm around those. By a bunch Holy of uh, Swiss. Well, who is it, Ryan, Russians. that didn't like Bavarians? Someone didn't like Bavarians. It's Bavaria. Racist. The I racist. Yes. The racist. Yes. <laughs> He's a little rough. Unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I'm ready. Oh, shit, we should. I should have the scribble game open because they're gonna take forever to make a plan too. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't think about it. I didn't think. I, I didn't think about it like that. Damn it! Why are they taking it so complicated? Like, Jen Mill likes to they, do. They overthink everything. They are overthinking it right now. They're gonna overthink a plan, and we're still gonna come in there and drop kick him. Drop kick him? Yeah, probably. Jeez. I probably should not have gone a high pointer. Oh well. The chain's, the chain's gonna make the classic mistake of taking Cav as Britain. <laughs> he takes Cav as Britain. Yeah. Yeah. Like if this fight devolves into attrition, we win. It's just an automatic win for us. So. <clears throat> and if it doesn't, it's still. Like if I get completely yeah. wiped out. If I get completely wiped out, Falcon has enough infantry to cover for it, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, to reiterate, um, Falcon, if we lose, it's Falcon's fault. <laughs> if we lose, it's def It's not going to be my fault for like marching against three armies right now. Nah, it's Falcon's fault. It's always Falcon's fault. It's always Falcon's it, fault. It, it was done before, it was done before, it will be done again. Uh, okay. And the only reason it won't work is because Falcon will not arrive, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it did work. To be fair, that was yeah, also like a meme. Work, um... That was just a meme. That, that, that wasn't supposed to work. I'm just like, you know what? Let's just have some fun with this. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to work. Nah, they were just marching with their L2 armies like all over the place. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> and I'm just like fighting two armies on the hill. Like, oh, oh, oopsies. No, what is it? You were fighting like the Spin, and the Spin was like dying, and then the Piedmont was trying to flank around you. Yeah, and the Piedmont was flanking and around, and then. And then... Come in and like, boom. I had to send like half my army to fight the Piedmont, so. Oh, Ledu. Ledu was magnificent that game. Yeah, well, Ledu was like magnificent any game in like 8.9. Yeah, now it's like, uh, please yeah, give me, yeah, your, yeah, please yeah, give me your credit card information. Uh, yeah, and the green numbers in the back. Wait, so appear who's Flanders? Ben. Uh, Flanders. All right, cool. I'll, I'll be moving up to you and then we can. Uh... We can cope together. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Cope. Cope and hog him. Together. Well, I'll cope together. My guess is they're gonna try and collapse onto that hill. Cause they're not gonna. They're not. They don't want to be aggressive when I'm here, and they don't want. They don't like to take chances. Map Bob's so. far right. Yeah. Map Bob's far right. Yeah. That is me. That's. This is the build I sent you. And. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and Falcon's the maniac in the back with his entire army stuck on top of each other. Uh, to be fair, I didn't tell him to do that, because... <laughs> well, nah. We, we know the power. We know the... Like... The power you, know, you just went through... Side. Like, uh, Falcon... Not Falcon. Kingston, you just went over, like, an hour to a two-hour stream about how to build, make an army, and we just roll up and do the exact opposite of what you said. Yep. So... Yeah. Well, I mean, we are experienced players versus yeah. not, you know? I think my, my, my stream already. Whoa, let's I, go. I feel like, oh, wow. They're going. Ben, how many guns do you bring? Six? Six. Yes. Damn. F5, six pounders. How many five. guns do you want? Gosh. Could have brought, I could have brought a eight. Nah, no point. Five, eight, seven. five is plenty. Map, oh, remember you know, that? I could have brought an eight with a uh, guard, horse artillery. So. Oh, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> I remember, the, remember the game against, like, Gondor and all those people? Against the other like, people. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. were Imperial. Yeah, and it was like you and Sputler just, just cleaved them in two, and it was so sad. Yeah, I remember that. No, I, I don't know, but like, I just brought up my like L2, like 180 man, right, but when the right button units, and just like, they routed. They, they just fucking routed. Yeah, no, that, that, that game was. I don't. I, I've never seen it. Well. I shouldn't say that. I have routed an, an army in one minute as Mara one time. That was fun. 
Uh, we, we, we routed the entire army like 30 seconds. Yeah. Like two armies. Jesus Christ, this lag. Oh my well, god. Uh, that's just, oh. uh, I just, no, that's just because there's a lot of units on the field. No, and Falcon, be, like, like, my, Falcon's uh, army's just inside of each other right now. No, so. it might, might be because I gave a singular order to all my units. So. Oh my god. gosh. Why? Why would you do such because things? I'm, because, I'm, uh, because I'm lazy. Because you're suddenly lazy. At least he's honest about it. <laughs> now, see, Moro's gonna go forward and do some scouting. Oh, no, like, scout. I remember when generals could scout. That was nice. Yeah, Bessier. You remember Bessier? <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. C4, Ledugen. Let's go. Let's go. Fair and balanced. C8, Bureau. As all things should be. A C9, Russian general. Getting debated into sniping oh, a gen, you think it's gonna just I, die? I don't, I don't understand the reason. Because he has Grand National stats. I don't, I don't understand the reason why generals move so slow. Right? Wow. Do horses not go anywhere? Like, a horse maybe, is a maybe horse. They're, maybe they're too fat. Maybe they're too fat. Yeah, like, they're all just obese. The generals are just, just obese. obese. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like four Winfield Scots. Like. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're going the long way, Falcon. Okay. Oh, well, what's the short way? There is no short way. I just I thought you were gonna go with Ben, but this works. Yeah, no, this is probably better actually. But I'm, I'm just making a comment. In arms the entire time. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I just pull back oh. and early campaign. Chain brought Wellesley. <laughs> brought Wellesley. All right, I want every gun we have to fire on every that man. man. <laughs> Most certainly not. Oh look, it's uh, what's his name? What's his name? It's Gordon. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, no, like, now you just Gordon. made me hungry. Now I'm hungry. Way to go, Kingston. I'm hungry too, so, you know, sharing is caring. Yeah. This, is the, this is the average French soldier experience. Yeah, yeah, the Soviet Union be like, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, especially when, <laughs> I, 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 especially no, you, when I don't I, give you anything. I starve, I starve, you starve. You say. I starve, you starve. We all starve. I freeze, you freeze. I we all starve. Freeze. Freeze. I feel like I'm losing my breath, but... I wombo, you wombo. Oh, Matt, Bob, why do you get to bring Voltigers and I don't? We wombo. What? Why do you get because to bring Because he's Voltigers? better. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, okay. because... We've, we've, we've established this, Falcon. The Scribble game confirmed <laughs> you are... You are <laughs> Sorry. Scribble <laughs> game. Yeah, if there's a draw yeah. in a tournament, they should just no, use Scribble no, 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 to no. assert who won. How am I? How am I supposed to figure out? There's a blue, there, there's this blue blob on the map. Yeah, that's water. Yeah. Have you never looked at a map in a book or something? X like, marks yeah. the spot oh. on a map. And then, and then there's this Idiot. green. There's forest. This green blob. That's a forest. Yeah. Oh, hello, and then, Russia. And then some gray stuff. I, I know what the gray stuff is. Wow. Sars. And, and, and then I saw a line going to the gray stuff. So I'm like, it might have something to do that with. That was a river. Like going into the crystal. Like, three letter word, Falcon. Three letter word. <laughs> it made sense at the time. Well, it did uh, not. Make, uh, evidently not. not. It did, evidently not. not. I don't know about that one. <laughs> it did not make sense at the time. Stop posting about Russian cavalry. I'm tired of seeing it. God damn it, man. It's Russian cavalry right here. Yes. Case you want to know. I do not bring in like an entire Dragoon division as Russia. Do I do the funny thing and just go around this hill? I think yeah, I will. Cool. I think I'll just pull the funny and just like go behind them. Wait, is this Prussia? Oh, is this, this is Prussia 7 or Yeah, it's Prussia 7. This is like rip off Prussia. Why, why do I feel like I barely moved? I'm like. I wonder. Oh, yeah. You have your really? L2s inside your L4s, and your L3s inside your L4s. So it's everything. I guess they'll have to. They'll, they'll have to like cope or something. Like figure it, figure it out. Figure it out. Let's just cope. Just Star figure it out. Your men are starving in just Russia. Just Falcon. Cope and see. Figure it out. Figure, figure, figure it out. Oh, uh, Russia's probably gonna try to push behind us, guys. So watch out. No, uh, no, that's just cab. If you use echolocation, if the tree's going to the hill. Echolocation. Let's just pull up the helicopter. You know? 
No, no the, balloon, the, balloon, the, the, uh, the balloon from Should Napoleon. Should I ignore Russia and just keep pushing? Yeah, yeah, yeah ignore Napoleon, Russia. Napoleon in campaign literally has a balloon that just scouts everything. Yeah, you know, as he did, historically. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Ooh, cavalry. Yep. Now, Napoleon actually hated the balloon for some reason. He just didn't think it was usable, and so he just got rid of it. It's just sad, but whatever. Sad. He did get rid of it? Yeah, no. Know. He. He, he thought it was a waste of time. How did he ever use it? No, he didn't. No, uh, it was one of the revolutionary, one of the revolutionary battles. Dude, he brought a lot of cabs, Russia. Like, holy yeah. cow. Yeah. Ignore. Ignore it. Like, what's it gonna do to you? Well, I'm trying not to let it get to my artillery. Oh, well, you see. Yeesh. You're fine. Besides that, though, nothing, you know, nothing too crazy is happening. Actually, if he wasn't a six-pointer, he could just go sort of to the, the one point and cut off Russia and then kill him. Yeah, but if it was me up there, that's probably the plan, but it's six points, it's just not really... Yeah, not yeah, yeah, if he was a higher point. Just keep going forward, Kingston. He can't really hurt you if you just stay condensed. Yeah. No, the Russian cavalry doesn't exist. It can't hurt you. <laughs> the Russian He's a man. Oh, shit. I just teleported on the map. Does he have four dragons? Holy shit. Yeah, he brought a lot of cows. Two, that was three, four. Maybe, yeah. maybe everybody else just brought, like, infantry or something. I don't know. Oh, no, it appears not. No, that's, yeah, that's that's a lot of cavalry. Yeah. Just, just a lot of dragoons. It. Just ignore it. You're fine. Yeah, he's falling back. Oh, my gosh. How many? That's, like, five dragoons he brought, at least. Four. I mean, they're, they're probably pretty cheap, so four. it doesn't matter. Four. Should bring up the Or two hussars or something. Now just bring Bagration's Dragoon Division. So. Yeah, I'll say no, no guard dragoons, so we're 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 looking on that end. Well, guard yeah. dragoons are I actually. I thought maybe we brought one guard. Guard dragoons are cheap as shit. Why is he moving off the hill? Yeah, and guard dragoons uh, are also uh, fucking crazy. He's moving off the ridge map up. Yeah, he's moving off the ridge line. I'm curious. Uh, why? Is what is it? You you don't you remember why hello map up? That's what he used to do at Waterloo every time. Was run time. away? No, he would just get off the hill and attack. Oh, he's gonna Why? intercept you. Okay. Why? No. He wants to well, die. This light may kill us. This light may kill us. Are we even going straight towards the Prussians? Is that our plan? Pretty much, yeah. Cool. If you, even if you get held up there, uh, Oh, no, that's the plan. Uh, uh, man, man can just come up on the flank. That just is the plan. Yes. But if you can kill him, kill him. Otherwise. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna push the hill because I think they're, they're, they're not gonna so, make Landwehr, Landwehr cavalry, bro. Yeah, I, I don't think I can. I, I don't no Landwehr, Landwehr spam. I don't, don't want to do Don't worry yourself, pick. My lads, will hold them until you come. I should probably set my army up. Yeah. Or just get on over like Tommy or something. No, what is it? No. In Salamanca on any, you're never able to recreate exactly what happened, but it would be fun. I think I did it. I did it once with someone who was new to the game. Oh. So I, I, think you, I think you killed like half of mine once, but... Yeah. Okay. Oh, for the moment, we spot oh, a this is Russian like British Heavy Dragoons stroll up. He has Russian Legion, bro. And Guard. I know. Guard. Are these guys? No, they're not guards. Are, you, are they gonna try to two v one you? They're gonna try and three v one me. Nice. But I oh, know we're gonna so we're so far away from you. It's fine. Sounds like an issue. You're not that far away from me. Uh, it's been like. Was it a six? Uh, you have the mythos. Like what they should be doing is actually like trying to push me away now, but they're not. Trying to get on my flanks. Yeah, maybe, maybe they just told them to wait or something. That's the the land bear. They're, they are. they're cautious. Wait a minute. Three. What was that battle? Where Prussians were just getting shot up by skirmishers and yeah, couldn't no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No, not yeah, no. It was uh, seven years war, I think. Oh. I don't know. Well, well, no, were, skirmishers weren't really a thing. I remember well, no, skirmishers like um, uh, the Austrian unit, like Croatians or something. 
Yeah, if all Rush is gonna do is send my flank, then he's basically wasting his time. Yep. Hoping and seething. So he's not gonna really do anything pretty soon. I'm, I'm gonna be like 20 minute reinforcements over here. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna step in this, this, this ridge line over here and just be like, what's up? Four, four kills. Yeah, pretty, yeah, these guys are good. That's how we do the funny reverse slope thing. <laughs> uh, he's trying to shift to counter your. I know, but then, yeah, go, but then we have that's two, right. we have two, we have three, two-ish armies about to just go. <laughs> so yeah, it's fine. British watch your right flank, Kingston. You got British cab now. Uh, and Prussian cab there too, yeah. Oh, yeah. I kill that real quick. What's Pretty that? confident my Lancers will be able to just kill that off the charge. Oh, Ooh, never mind. Turn around. Oh, uh, Rush is probably going to try to go up and meet with you guys there. Yeah, probably. Just yeah, stay concentrated. Cool. There's been a lot of their artillery facing my way, so your guys' push should be pretty easy. Oh my goodness, the, the the British calf. British calf. Okay, it's all Spanish though, so it's like it's all Spanish. Really? It's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's all cost like a thousand or something. Maybe eight hundred. Oh, he's coming to you now. What the fuck? Look out for your general. Nay. Oh, uh, thanks. Because I think Russia sees it and he's licking his chops. Just kind of forgot about it. Right, map bomb, I'm coming. Oh, it's fine. You're just gonna hit the corner. You see, like, where the house is? You're just gonna hit there. Right. Gonna go there for a column and uh, push into the That's artillery. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Please wait for me, though. Something, uh, something soft in our rear. Yeah. <laughs> They're not gonna be able to. Not for oh, yeah, me. No, at we, least. Have, we have nothing. We have nothing. Like this. No, it's like, fine. These Swiss. I, I have square bulls. I have Prussians in the back. I have Cav as well. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they don't see my like column over here, but. I don't think. Nah. Will, but... I mean, if he does, I he's mean, gonna he stretch himself all the way really over. thin. Yeah, if he goes all the way over, that's just a yeah. huge waste of time. It's a waste like, of time for him. Yeah. Like the amount of money he spent on that cab that he's just not using. Yep. How goes it over here? Oh, wow. Oh, nothing's happening? Yeah, nothing's happening at all. It's marching simulator. Yep. Just trying to get them to keep bending their lines. Like, come over. So I'm, I'm the biggie. I'm the bad threat. Come on. I'm the big bad bear. Chain Will's gonna form, like, a line. Putting his cap well, behind us for some reason. Like, what's the purpose? I think Chain Will's forming a line on the hill facing, uh, uh Ben. Well, all their gens are starting to move this way. Uh, Chainmail around is general. Oh, on the taking their damn time. If they're gonna, if they want to take this three v one, they gotta do it soon. Yep. Or else it's not gonna be a three v one anymore. No, it's too late. It's almost too late already. It oh, is yeah. too late. British cows moving. Where's the red line? Oh, over there. 
I was that right behind? I do see some skirmishers for Russia now, so he does have some lines. And unfortunately, I am slower than Russian, him. Russian skirms are uh, like expensive, I mean. Wait, you're fine. Just keep moving in the box and he can't Let's make it. Oh, if he spent, uh, no, like. Oh, they're t they are, they're going for me now. They're going for me now. Okay. You can look at precious maneuvers. All right, well, then I win. TG, well played. I can tell by the position of his men. Oh, Prussia's got. Oh, wow. So Portugal and Prussia are going to try attacking you. Yeah, it's one. Dang, you have a beautiful hill, though. Like, Not you can rest ready. your reserves in the dip of the hill. Oh, yeah. He's going to piss. He's going to pull my column, unfortunately. Oh, well. What are you idiots doing? Keep moving. I, w I wish. I, I don't know if it's possible, but I wish generals were hidden so they won't know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. An F4 artillery piece, but it feels like it's an F10. How fast it's not moving. What? My what? artillery piece. How fast it's not moving? How fast it's not moving? Yep. What? It's going what? super uber slow. No, he just he spotted my call. Russia, he Portugal, my both put their forces. We got Portuguese here facing off against my cab. No, so their micro is completely split. Yeah, so their micro is just fucked. It's he just spotted my cab. Uh, Manage land there, let's go. He spotted my fucking column and he left just immediately. Like, oh. oh yeah, you're about to enter the fray. All right, well, well. Oh, oh, oh shit! Back All the cavalry. Now. Hello. It's over. Would be nice to have some cavalry, but no. No, you don't need it. Like one unit of cavalry. No, 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 you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah, I'm gonna form column. Screw that shit. I think Russia legitimately is trying to catch me. And the thing that sucks is my army's L2s as well. Like, I have some L2s because it's barbarians. My artillery is taking so long to move. Hell to them. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! How many reserve lines do you want? Yes. Uh, he may yeah. see you. So watch out, uh, Falcon. He does, see me. Oh my gosh, can this artillery move any faster? All right, I'm starting to see British lines. He's sending the land we're in, map up. Yeah, I see Britain, it. Uh, okay, they all split their force between the two fronts. Hey. What? what? <laughs> okay, so, um, Russia's probably gonna try to come in on the flank while we're engaging that hill. You, can you, like... Do you want me to hold rear off? Guard, rear guard, um, Like, I could just stand here in the back lines and stop yeah, Russia. You, you could probably stall since they're like, they're, they basically combine their forces to face both directions, but Falcon is going to come in and just sledgehammer. If you, in. if you, if you turn, if you turn and face that the skirmishers guy. with like a solid force. Oh, I have Brits on my off. flank as well. What the fuck? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, all all of them split the force. Uh, you've done this before, my bub. Oh, snipe, have... snipe Wellington, Snipe Wellington, Snipe Wellington. Snipe Wellington, where is he? Snipe Wellington. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Fuck. I don't think I can do that. That's... You, oh yeah, you, I can. You might be able to fart. Like, no, uh, barrage, barrage, barrage. I know. Try and get, Just try to, try to, I guess. Bro. Here I come. Although my guys are winded, I might need to stop for a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. The skirmishers are shredding up these Cazadores. Hoping and seething. Si, senor. Stand by my line. And this artillery is just going so slow. No, you just uh, set up. You can set up your three pounder to hold them off. Yep, well, that's your, exactly what I'm doing right now. Your three pounder, your three pounder is like not very good. I oh wait, you can snipe Wellington. You can snipe Wellington, my bub. And the Prussian general. And the Prussian general. Look where they are. Do you see it? Looks like I got a lot going on. 
Oh my god. Oh, we got one to see this. My units aren't shooting. Oh well. Oh, done. We're fine. Alright, it's warming up. And, uh... Alright, Falcon, you can just press straight in. You have a gap right there that you're facing off. I know, uh, my units are tired. I mean, they're tired, <laughs> but. Now that we're winded. Yeah, there you go. Now we're seeing more, more Brits forming up. Yeah, so their the gap is down. like the gap is where their cavalry is up, and their infantry is like no. So there's no infantry. All right. I need to do it now. I guess to start pushing. All right, I'm gonna stall them. This is where I'm standing. All right. Sure. I mean, it's a bunch of right, Landwehr uh, Cav. The, the, the Landwehr, like, Landwehr Cav and shitty Portuguese Cav is not going to stop your columns. I know, but... When I, when I do, like, melee and stuff like that, I don't want to be tired. Oh shit, map up. Map up Doom Column. Yep. Fun. Uh... Da -da -da. I'm questioning if that one unit I'm seeing is guards. Oh, if they pull off this hill. Because <laughs> I'm holding off deploying my guns just yet. Because the angle isn't good. But if they pull off the hill and give us the crest of this hill, I'm setting up all my fucking artillery up here. Yeah, and then we can push Russia. Probably. And it's going to be a fun time. Going Look out, um, Falcon, he has artillery moving in behind you, so... Artillery? Or a cav, my bad. Yeah, it's light cover. Okay, this is a good enough amount of ground that they're giving me. I'm gonna try and get guns up here. My only fear is that the lag might fuck me in protecting them. I mean, I'm a, what, six or seven pointer versus a whatever point this Russia is. Um, yeah. If I can hold them Russia off. Is just sitting there. Yeah, if, if I can hold off Russia, I will be happy. You're sending my units in this as soon as they're not tired. Yeah, just keep, just go forward now. This is it. All right, that will. Oh shit! All right. Oh, there's units there. We pulled back the first line of defenses. It's the second line of defenses, I should say. All right, that will hit the Prussians on your left. Oh, okay. I got, I got even more Russians on my left now. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I see. Okay, I can readjust. I'm readjusting. All right, let's try to charge. Fly. Yep, oh, my, that went, my, that went my really well. Are a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's why you don't bring Spanish cab, they just lost to cheap lancers. <laughs> Oof. They just traded for that. I'm perfectly fine with that one, I'm gonna have to bring my left back then. Alright, I'll shift you up to defend your flank here if, you know, if he really wants to try to take this fight. I'm, I'm not gonna take it, obviously. Shift play oh, right. Uh, left Falcon, you got that area covered? Yep. My cab will come back. His shit. This is going to be a case of deploying these guys up here for canister. Getting both my dragoons up to protect these guns. I want to be extra safe about this. Are you good, my boom? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. Is your general? Alive. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't want to make sure he's alive. There's only like two units of cavalry facing me from hitting the rear. 
These guys in front of me definitely cannot swear. <laughs> Screen. Deploying them now. Also, I accidentally checked out this right now a little bit. Should be fine. Yep. Let's oh, those are British foot guards or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they're foot guards. Yeah, probably. Alright, time to immediately fire canister. Pressure, this pressure is trying to ignore me or something. At this range. I don't know this guy's. Oh, fuck! <laughs> just executing oh. the cruise. Also, kind of embedding right now, that's fine. Okay, guy, just bring him off. Gonna need the push hard. Yep. Up. Oh yeah, the canister. <laughs> I know, you're almost there. I know. Watch out on your flank. Up, Rush is going to try to hit you pretty hard, Flanders. I, I'm yeah. moving to protect it, but it may take me a second to actually get there. Yeah, it's all good. Start pushing this British line. The canister just immediately broke two units. <laughs> that was fucking nasty. Oh yeah, this British line is already crumbling right where it is. Really? Uh, I foresee, I foresee fire and melee. Oh god. Oh no, I saw that. I know Shane wouldn't purposely do that though. Yeah. Just that, that's I saw them shift uh, from a fire order, and I was like, that charge isn't going any further. If I keep going, there that fire melee will happen. That was just barely off. Yeah. I'm, I'm frustrated because I'm so fucking close. You're so Ryan? close, it's so far. Nice charging, man. But I can't shoot because. Why is uh, Rush is not trying to be more aggressive here with me? Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Like, he's really not being that he aggressive. Has he only has a lot of He is covering one hell of a wide front right now. Yep. As so well. This fucking line where he's getting bullied. No, 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 skirms, don't shoot, please. He shot himself in the back. Oh my god, I feel slow. Oh, it's just laggy. Yeah, it is very laggy. Yeah, I broke this cavalry. Also, uh, Ben, watch your general because there's the Russian cavalry in the back. Yep. Yeah, yep. Oh, British cav. Oh, the bug. They should have volleyed and he got him out of there before he did. That is so sad. Uh, I think General's gonna turn and face me, but... I got your flank. Uh, if you need to divert troops there, I don't think Rush is gonna oh, try oh, anything oh, just yet. Blow that. If you can blow up that cavalry, we can... Yeah, it's blown up. I mean, I'm, I'm... Not... Too worried right now. Yeah, the cast blown up. Go, go, go. Uh, forcing the, forcing the point. That's Falcon's job since his column is about to go right into the rear of that pressure. I need to see Moreau, what he's Moreau actually here. doing here. Moreau is here. Moreau's here. Oh, fucking. Yeah, I'm gonna farm the Prussian cab in the back. Oh my again. gosh! Yeah, Falcon's about to slam into Prussia. Gonna volley this cavalry first. Oh, my I guess. guys are off fire at will. I thought it was musket bug. Oops. Ooh, that'd probably be a good thing to check. There we go. All right, he's engaged us. It's a party. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, forward. Only forward. Oh, fucking get bullied. Hell to them. Hell, sulfur to them. Just the leg. Let's go straight through them. This is this is what we were meant for. Let's go. All oh, the cab in the back, though. <laughs> I'm not bored. Got that row. We haven't beaten. Oh, those are foot guards. Be careful. Those are foot guards. Get my row nearby. Yes, sir. 
Uh, the lag is a little annoying. Oh, it's bad, yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's really bad. It's, real bad. it's not a little, it's a lot, I should say. And this is how you just lay defensive artillery positions. I'm just gonna run away. Nah, if I can stop it. Ooh, oh, those guys got bullied. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No. Oh no! Oh, oh. 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 no! Did you do? Dang it! <laughs> did everybody that is did... the most anticlimactic shit ever. Ah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> We're this close to greatness. Pain, great. Pain. We're this close. No. Who's lagging? I want to know who's who's about to get strung up. We're this, we're this close to greatness. We're this close to greatness. I was about to have the, one of the best stands against Russia ever. I was about to just slam into that pressure, and Falcon was about to just go. Oh, damn that it. was about to be awesome. Like, oh yeah, Falcon was, was poised to just right. obliterate and Russia's like career. That was about to be the 60 chess play of a lifetime. Dang mm. it. <laughs> well, everybody in stream, welcome to NTW3. Game of the year. Game of the decade. Game of the I, was decade. Having a good, I was having a good time just moving up my F5, six pounders, just pushing back the yeah the British lines, and you everyone just everyone, about, everyone validate your files. I'm validating my fucking files. Oh, oh, damn it. It. All right, well that's the stream today, guys.